traffic against Boston College. Let's take you there live and join Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarkle. Greg, thanks very much. First of four games here at the John Huntsman Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Boston College, the number four seed against 13th seeded Pacific as we open things up. Great day of basketball here in Salt Lake. Winner here will take on the survivor of the Nevada-Montana matchup, which will be coming up here at the Huntsman Center. Take a look at the starting lineups. First for Pacific. They come in as champions of the Big West. Michael White, Anthony Esparza, Christian Moriker, the Big West Player of the Year. Johnny Gray and Mike Webb in the backcourt. For Boston College, representing the ACC, John Oates, Craig Smith, first team all ACC, Jared Dudley, Lewis Hennett, the point guard, and the dangerous Sean Marshall at shooting guard. Bob Thomason, well, he's been here before, third straight year at the NCAA tournament for the Pacific Tigers. And for the Boston College Eagles, number four seed here in the Minneapolis bracket, Al Skinner, his team got knocked off in the second round last year, upset loss to Wisconsin, Milwaukee. We are set to go. Mike Sanzer, Dan Chrisman, Mike Foote, the officials. Boston College controls the tip. We're underway from Salt Lake. In it, in a matchup with Johnny Gray. On the outside, Marshall. Boston College likes to work the interior with the bruiser, Craig Smith, one of the most decorated players in Boston College history. And what they like to do also is use both sides of the floor as we're seeing early on. There's Dudley, shot clock down to 13. They'll reload for Smith in a matchup with White. Fake on the double, Smith, tough move. And good touch around the goal. And a good touch because he's got so much power to get himself in good motion and good position. One thing to look for with Smith is just what we've seen there. A patient attack that they'll have. They'll reload the shot clock and then look for Smith a second and third time to get him on the floor where they're comfortable. The experience of Boston College, they have had the same starting lineup in every game this season. There's Gray out front. He'll stroke it. Short. And rebounded by Dudley. And there's no substitution for experience to touch on that. The fact that these guys are comfortable with one another. Their start is on the floor. Good little deflection right here. Dudley able to hold on to it. Whips it. Now inside, Marshall contact. No call. And the follow-up by Smith cleaning up on the glass. 65% yeah, plus field goal percentage this season. Did a real good job in the ACC. This team moving from the Big East, a tough conference, to another one in the ACC, and it did just fine down there. So here's Pacific. The Tigers on the offensive end, trailing 4-0. Esparza trying to get Moriker involved. Double team. Nice job by Oates there to step across to force the double team and kick it back out. Seven to shoot. White doesn't look for his offense. Somebody better. Gray, shot clock, winding down, corner. Oh, I don't think that hit anything, right? It was an air ball, the first one, and then a follow-up hit underneath the backboard, so it's going to go BC way. Well, for Craig Smith, one of two players in Boston College history to record 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds, Donya Abrams, the other, just gives you an indication what kind of career he's had. And Abrams was a little smaller, but boy, the days play very similarly to the fact that they like to get down deep. Another look down to Dudley. And backdoor. Oates finding the open man, and Thomason takes a timeout for Pacific. Thomason trailing 6 nothing. He was concerned about the size down deep. Right now, it's all Boston College early in Salt Lake. BC with a 6-0 lead. The concerns coming into this game, Jimmy, for Pacific. Did they have enough to deal with Boston College on the inside? And the answer so far has been no. Uh, no, and the fact of the matter is it's very aggressive down deep, too, and that was the other part of their concern. Nice strip out front by Hinnett. They're just really in control here from both aspects, defensively and offensively. Hinnett able to take it away from Johnny Gray, and now they'll set up their offense with a 6-0 lead. On the 13th seeded Tigers. You ask the question type of thing. What do you do if you're Pacific to stop them from down deep? Watch them run their flex offense. A lot of motion, a lot of screens, and they're very patient. In it. Extra pass. Dudley knocks it down. Now how about Marshall That's catching the ball along the baseline and quickly recognizing that he was not open and then flipped it out from what perceived to be a good spot to go up. They're very unselfish. They kick it around the corner. Now Pacific just trying to get on the board. 
Gray looks down low. Dudley draws the assignment on Moriker. Nice little zone look right now. Here's Esparza. He's got a funky game. Ball stripped away and another steal for BC. Oates went down in a heap and slow to get up for the Eagles. Well, the last two years, Pacific knocked off, respectively, Providence in the first round and then Pittsburgh last year. Two Big East teams, Bob Thomason told his team, hey, pretend BC is still in the Big East. <laughs> I thought that was a good line. That's the way we're thinking of it, that they're a Big East team. But, but they are working. No, they're from the ACC now, and it's working pretty well for them. Along the baseline, Dudley rims out, and Morica able to clean it. And just a little bit of a float just then by Dudley to his right towards the middle of the lane rather than throwing the shoulders towards the basket was the reason that shot rolled out for him. Pacific, three turnovers over its last three possessions, and we're four minutes gone by here in the first. Moriker can't get the banker. Esparza knocked it over to White, who gets the deuce. Oh, and it's a big-time relief. It's the ball goes through the basket finally. When you're looking at the scoreboard, and it's 2 nothing, 4 nothing, 8 nothing, And all of a sudden, Pacific a little bit more calm down a little bit. And Smith right now checking things over. Would he get poked in the eye, possibly? He did. Hit? He yeah. took a shot underneath in that scrap for the loose ball. And Smith is now heading to the sideline for BC. So we'll step aside. 15-49 to play in this first half. Boston College in front. 8-2. Magazine says V for Vendetta is explosive. Violence can be used for good. What are you talking about? Justice. Natalie Portman is dynamite in the movie that will pin you to your seat. Here a verdict is vengeance. V for Vendetta. Kill him. Not tonight. Rated R in theaters and IMAX March 17th. What you got there? Buck of noodles. 99 cents. Man, you're smart. We wasted our 99 cents on these new buffalo snackers from KFC. 100% chicken breast, buffalo sauce, sesame seed bun. And to think, we could have had noodles. That's a good one. <laughs> the new 99 cent buffalo snackers from KFC. 100% chicken breast, authentic buffalo sauce, and crispy lettuce on a sesame seed bun. And like the original KFC snacker, it's only 99 cents. Heat things up for under a buck. A golden, rich flavor of Miller Genuine Draft. It's beer, grown up. If technology exists that can make our SUVs nearly effortless to use, a GMC engineer will find it and apply it. Introducing the all-new 2007 GMC Yukon with available power liftgate and one-touch third-row access. Looking beyond the drawing board is just one more way we engineer to the highest standard professional grade. Tuesday, they fight for freedom in secret. Going to Indonesia. They have the kids stashed away. But their families pay the price. You got shot for nothing! Did Max put a hand on her? TV's number one new drama. <laughs> the Unit, CBS Tuesday after NCIS. Greg, Seth, and Clark in New York. We'll get you back to this game in Salt Lake City after we check in on what's happening elsewhere. First in Greensboro, North Carolina, Wichita State enjoyed a 19-6 run early in this game, and only in the last few moments has Seton Hall been able to start to hit a couple shots. Well, the first really good sign for Seton Hall is that Donald Copeland just hit his first three-pointer of the game. He's the one guy who can really get a hot hand from outside because inside, even though Kelly Whitney's been able to score some, they've been dominated on the glass. They're going to have to win this game from behind the three-point line. Seven minutes to go before halftime. Seton Hall just wants to get this somewhere in the six to eight point deficit, if not better. To do that, they've got to rebound their defensive board, and they've got to be able to attack, penetrate off the dribble, and knock down some open jump shots. All right, guys, meanwhile in Jacksonville, Minneapolis bracket, Wisconsin-Milwaukee with the lead on Oklahoma. Clark, you said earlier when this lead was much bigger for UWM that Oklahoma was still in a comfortable position, and they don't look like they're panicking. No, they're an experienced team. They start three seniors. Here they are pushing it ahead in transition. That's a nice job by Kevin Bookout, apparently called for a walk. 
as he tried to finish in transition. But it's important for Oklahoma to attack against that pressure that Wisconsin-Milwaukee will throw at him in the full court and be able to get some scores against it. Book out an Everett six points apiece. Yeah, but see, that play right there, Clark, is, is what I think Oklahoma needs to be careful about. They need to keep this game slow and not get lulled in to playing that style. I know you disagree. They are going to be playing a better... You have to take advantage slow. of opportunities to score against a team that's going to pressure. Right, that doesn't gonna... mean that you speed it up, but when the opportunity is there, you've got to try to make them pay for trying to force you into turnover. All right, guys, 21-14. We'll keep track of that game. Let's get you back to Salt Lake City, Pacific, and Boston College. Diane Eagle and Jim Spinoff. Once again, back in this little bit of a matchup. 10-4, BC. In it, kick out. Dudley lines it up, and the rainbow delivery is good. A three. Jared Dudley, who shoots it at 34% from long range. Second team all ACC this year. And a terrific all-around performer. Moriker just trying to get going. And BC will have none of it. He's not going to get going if he floats away from the hoop like that. Turns a seven-footer into a nine-footer, but it's a big adjustment for your shot. You have to shoot it much higher and further. There's McLean back to the perimeter. Oh, it's the big guy. And rebounded by Johnson, looking to run. Johnson taking it to the rim. He banged heads with Esparza. Nice tip there by Johnson to kick it out. And Webb is open for a three. Webb, another guy who can shoot the ball from long range at 42% shooter. So he has a, the ability to get long shots off also. But good work just then to kick that ball out by Johnson with that little flick pass. Couldn't get it, but knew his offensive teammate was standing there. Eagles lead it 13 to 7. Just about seven minutes gone by in this first half in Salt Lake. Dudley, tight defense as far as that. Looking over at the BC bench, and Smith looks like he's ready to get off the bench over there to get in. Six to shoot. Dudley out of position. Shot clock down to two. Marshall doesn't know it, or does he? On a turnaround, rebounded by Esparza. You can see Marshall just at the end there. A little good communication by the Eagles because he got a call and he looked up at the other clock. Moriker and a foul call. And our first one of the day. As Morica was able to get inside, Smith ready to check back in. And we'll see big changes for Pacific as well as Johnny Gray returns. Foul called on McLean. That's his first for BC. Also checking in, Anthony Brown for Pacific. Good looking six foot seven inch freshman from Sacramento, California. Moriker fouled and a chance for three on a jump hook. And Sean Williams that time a little late on the reaction. You always want to force the ball away from the middle of the floor, the paint, when you're defending underneath. And they really set it up well. But there's the body. Could not establish himself defensively. And Williams with a little bump. So Williams picks up the foul. And Moriker to the free throw line. 85% shooter. He's been such a sturdy big man in his four years as a member of the Tigers program. Tyrese Rice, change of pace point guard, has checked in for BC, the little lefty from Richmond, Virginia. Change of pace are three good words to describe him because he will get it and go with it. Here's Williams for BC. There is a bunch of the cuts. Just watch for the it's more than exchanges. It's supposed to be setting screens for one another. Can it? Oh, he's been such a great leader for this Boston College team. We talked to Al Skinner about Hinnett. He said, tremendous team player. He's been the same guy from day one when he stepped onto the campus four years ago out of Oxon Hill, Maryland. And he led the ACC in the assist to turnover ratio. So not a bad guy to have handled the ball. Very experienced. Moriker looking more comfortable. It rims out, but the follow goes down. Right place at the right time for Joe Ford, the freshman from Altadena, California. He's got a major wingspan at six foot six. And Pacific has gotten their legs under them here in the first 10 minutes of the first half. Down low. How about Hennett on a post up? And he's going to the free throw line. And show you a little mix up there. Uh, defensively not reacting well, but Hennett showing his smarts to use his six foot four frame to catch and go on the little post up. Now the strength 
of Boston College, but they can beat you off the dribble as well. Time out. The true fan, the whole year comes down to just one weekend. The 2006 NCAA Men's Final Four. In the biggest ticket giveaway in NCAA history, only Pontiac is sending 100 fans to see it live. You have five days left to get to your Pontiac dealer. Get your ID number, log it in at ncaasports.com slash Pontiac, and see if these seats will be yours when the Final Four comes down to just one. Pontiac, official performance machines of the NCAA. We're the Slowskis. Uh, I'm Bill, and this is my wife, Carolyn. Hi. We tried Comcast high-speed internet, but... Everything downloaded so quickly. Yeah. We felt rushed. Rushed yeah. is, is a good way to describe mm -hmm. it. With DSL, we can download way slower than Comcast high-speed internet. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, his middle name is slow. My middle name is Matthew. Yeah. I was joking. Oh. Go way faster than DSL with Comcast high-speed internet. It's Comcasting. I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. No matter where you're headed, there's a Choice Hotel nearby. Including Comfort Inn, Comfort Suites, Quality, Sleepin', Clarion, and Mainstay Suites. Right now, just stay two times and earn a free night with Choice Privileges. For reservations, visit ChoiceHotels.com. Choice Hotels. We'll see you there. extra hours you dedicate to your students, we think you deserve some extra credit. TIAA CREF, serving the retirement needs of those in the academic, medical, cultural, and research fields. Visit us online to find out how we can serve you. TIAA CREF, financial services for the greater good. Plus, their guard play is so much stronger. They can basically go nine people deep yeah. and not lose anything. Yeah, the other guys are, like, starting maybe six-man? Right. Maybe six-man. Right. Rejected! Don't you bring that weak tot action! You go strong to your mouth and you don't go at all! <laughs> Game day food. Nothing goes better with basketball than Sonic's Chili Cheese Tots. Great for pre-game, post-game, pre-post-game, and post-post-game game. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Look at the game summary here in Salt Lake, Boston College. Not missing. 8 of 11 from the field. That's good for 73%. Welcome back, courtside. Ian Eagle along with Jim Spinarkle. We talked to Bob Thomason, head coach of Pacific. Old football mentality. He strips the first eight plays that they run. I don't know if we were talking to Bill Walsh there for a moment. Have they worked? And what should he like of what he's seen so far? Well, obviously, the first three or four did not work because he went down 6 nothing at that time. But I think what he's more controlled with it and really looking at is the way his team controlled the tempo for that next three or four minutes after their first three or four possessions didn't work. So I think the comfort level is back, and I think, you know, you unscript it after a while. When your team is not executing the plays that you had in the book, make some changes. He called a quick timeout, and his team looks really more comfortable right now. Foul was called on Stefan Johnson as Hinnett completes the traditional three-point play and an 18-12 advantage for BC. Here's Brown, Moriker, uncontested slam. A terrific delivery by Brown, but how about not the catch, but the stop of the hand by Moriker to just catch it after he stopped the basketball. A good play by a guy with good hands down low. You don't always have to catch it, but you want to make sure you control it. Moriker, five points, and called for the foul. It was Tyrese Rice roaming baseline. They come down the floor. Watch him stop the ball. You see how he got, gets his right hand out? He just kind of guides the ball to the floor. That's as good as catching it because what it allows you to do is get your momentum towards the basket and at the same time then catch it and deliver it. Tyrese Rice brings a scorer's mentality to the floor, his ability to penetrate. And Rice grew up watching ACC basketball. Morica picks up that first foul. Rice, a member of the ACC All-Freshman Team. Second in scoring among the rookies in the ACC. Yeah, such a high upside, especially with the fact of the type of tempo that Rice plays for BC. Now Skinner just loves the fact that he has him right now and will have him for a period of time going forward. Good help there by Rice to step out. 
Webb picked up by Rice. Max. Down low. Brown. Couple of pump fakes. Comes up short. And Smith controls the loose ball for BC. And matchup defense is looking very sharp for the Eagles. Just about at the midway point of this first half, 20 to 14, Boston College got off to the terrific start against Pacific. Williams. Oh, another backdoor cut. And Dudley, the recipient, off the feed from Hinnon. And Bob Thomason does not like what he sees on defense. He's going to have to start to think about changing the defenses a little bit just because this man-to-man -man isn't working against the back screen. 30-second timeout with BC, up by eight. The world has always been inspired by the sleek design and technological innovations of the Lexus RX. It's just a huh? Disaster. But now that we've made it even more powerful, the competition might find themselves somewhat at a loss. Introducing the new 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus, putting the world on notice yet again. 22 to 14, Eagles lead it. They continue to find seams in the defense of Pacific so far. And that's why I would not be surprised after this timeout to see Pacific do a little changes. You know, Bob Thomason said they play man-to-man -man a lot, but they'll throw some zones in there. They'll do some changes along the way. Now might not be a bad time to make a change, especially with the way Boston College has been running their sets in a very impatient way. Off the timeout, White to Webb, open look. And it goes down, a three. So Mike Webb, a 42% shooter from beyond the arc, able to hit the junior college transfer from Antelope Valley College in California. Now let's see if Pacific still in the man-to-man, -man, but let's watch and see if they really cloud up the middle of the floor. Oh, that's a bomb from Rice. Out of bounds. Sparja tries to keep it alive, and touch last by Pacific. BC will hold on to it. Well, coming up Tuesday on The Amazing Race, get behind the wheel with the teams as they speed around a world-famous test track. That's Tuesday on CBS, America's number one network. It was actually Craig Smith who got to the corner in a hurry just then to save that ball to give BC another opportunity. Now, here they're back to a matchup defense, which means the cuts won't be as effective. Smith against White, off the spin. Now, Hinnick. Good adjustment by Pacific right here to change the defenses up. Really clog up the middle of the floor in the baseline. Rice tried to force a pass inside. It's a turnover. Well done defensively. Really tightened it up. On the break, Esparza. And a little too strong as bodies go flying. Dudley went down. White threw his body around, and he'll get called for the loose ball foul. Maybe not the greatest of decisions by Esparza going down the floor just then, especially when you're scrambling to get back in. You're trying to get your rhythm. That was a difficult layup, even though from a lefty's perspective, the lefty is hard to really guard. He's a great hustler, though, for this team. Really works at it as they come with a 2-1-2 two, two look right now. Back to a 1-2-2. Two, two. Esparza, the scrappy junior from Bakersfield, California. One of six junior college transfers on this Tigers team. Once again, you get this look of a zone right now. It's a man-to-man -man when the ball is in your area. But look at down below how many black shirts try to find their way into the paint. There's a good shot of it right there with three down deep. Seven to shoot. Williams on a bounce. Dudley sneaks it inside. And Smith with a shot clock down to two. That's brute strength. Doesn't it help to always have good hands, too, before you finish it off with that brute strength? Wow. He really catches the ball when it's around him. He's got, like, vacuum cleaner hands. And then he's tough to move once he gets the ball in his hands. Oh, forget about moving. <laughs> Back door, pull up. Webb tried to go off the glass. Esparza kept it alive for BC. Eagles in front, 24-17. Esparza the only guy in the offensive glass. This is not a team you can go one against four down deep. Eagles deliberate on the offensive end. Here's Smith out front. They'll give Williams that shot. He won't take it. Not known for his offense. Offensively back to the man-to-man. -man. Let's see if BC patiently waits. Oh, good hands. At Johnny Gray. Diving to the sideline, trying to save it. Out of bounds with 7.32 to go in this first half. Boston College leading Pacific. We're coming back to Salt Lake in a moment. 
You're gonna like these guys, though. They're a pretty good crew. Everybody listen up. This is Levon. Hey, Levon, I'm Winty. You're on the 120 today. How are you? So uh, if there's anything you need, just ask these guys. They'll take care of it, all right? Welcome aboard. Thank you. You ever been around anything this fast before? Yeah, in the last job. See how Army training gives you strength for now, strength for later at GoArmy.com. Let's put your kids' dreams within reach. Lowe's, let's build something together. Shop today and you could instantly win a VIP trip to the 2007 NCAA Men's Final Four or one of millions of Lowe's prize cards. get a lot of people looking at your car then list it on autotrader.com more people go to autotrader.com to find a car than anywhere else that's why it's the ultimate automotive marketplace autotrader.com the smarter place to buy and sell a car hey make way for cj what's this it's a cotton power sauce for my shrimp <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> Dip into flavor in a whole new way with Friday's new Flavor Shots Grill. Everyone could use more Fridays. Uh, class of 94, here I come. When you want to make a good impression, Enterprise Rent-A-Car will pick you up free and get you going in style. Looking good, news. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. On a good day, I would barely make a splash. Now, I hope for as much impact as possible. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Time for our Southwest Airlines sideline report. Bob Thomason back in 2000 took his team on a Scandinavian tour, played against a club team. And Christian Moriker, a member of that club team, he went seven for seven from the field in that game. Moriker wanted to come to the U.S. And Thomason, recognizing that Moriker was not heavily recruited, said, I'm a pretty good recruiter when I go up against the University of Nobody. <laughs> and he also, Thomason, made the point, too. He said, I, you know, I had to stop and think, who was guarding this guy? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was a bad defender. He could have been the worst <laughs> defender in all of Sweden. That's it. Pull up, jump, goes down for Johnny Gray. So Gray gets involved. And Pacific now within five as we approach seven minutes to go in this first half. Gray, the MVP of their tournament just recently, and a guy who's averaged about 14 points a game, a little over that this year, so he can score. They really need him to go up and down and change a little bit of the tempo at the offensive end. He's been a clutch player for the Tigers, has really stepped it up in his senior season from Agora Hills, California. Smith's jumper won't go, and it's going the other way. A loose ball foul with Williams using his frame. Second personal on him. Coming up, singular at the half. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis will take a look. All of the action, live look-ins around the NCAA tournament. They'll get you caught up on the latest tournament news, plus a singular Naismith update that's coming up, singular at the half. And just a moment ago, we got a good look at Al Skinner, Boston College head coach, who thought this game was in pretty good shape at the beginning. Now, all of a sudden, the tempo is changing. Gray, corner three, doesn't go, and Smith able to clear space. 24-19, Boston College. Gray looked like a shooter in that left corner just then who felt that that was all money just then. Dudley gives it up. White against Smith. Now it's Oaks. Down low. And Dudley is fouled. Esparza tried to knock the ball free off the pump fake. And Dudley going to the free throw line. And if you notice where they're getting their action from, they continue Boston College to really go against. When they're going against the man-to-man, -man, 
Their screens are so good along the baseline, and they know how to use the baseline as a team. Well, they're getting too many opportunities. I would bet Pacific goes back to that matchup and clog the middle. If you're going to lose to this team, lose from the perimeter. Dudley at the free throw line, 25 to 19. Tuesday on CBS, see why the unit has become TV's number one new show. Don't miss a new episode Tuesday after NCIS on CBS, America's number one network. Dudley, 70% shooter, out of San Diego, California. Always seems to play with that chip on his shoulder because he was not heavily recruited coming out of high school. And what an impact player he has been in his three years at BC. Coming into this game, he only had 1,400 and change with the total points. So <laughs> he's put together a nice career already. There's Morica on a drop step. He's fouled trying to turn baseline. John Oates will get called for the personal. His first. And the 14 foul against the Eagles. New shot clock for Pacific. Ford gets it in. Long jumper goes. Johnny Gray, the trifecta. I tell you, to my eye, Ian, that left corner shot that he missed a moment ago looked exactly the same in terms of body language, confidence, except the results are a little different on that one. But he's shooting the ball. And, I, you know, he has it missed in his mind, even though he did go one for two in his last two. Oates, an open look. Short. Rebound. Smith, no. Fight for it on the inside. Smith again. And a foul call. Smith, the all-time leading rebounder in Boston College history and showing off his skills inside. Well, you take a look at this here. And you have a situation here where you're just fading to the corner. That's what you want to do defensively, but you notice the great extension, the great lift, and the follow-through for Gray from the corner. BC has to do a much better job of finding him, especially on the out-of-bounds sets. Four-year starter, Craig Smith. 66% shooter out of Los Angeles, Fairfax High School. Another guy who was not highly recruited coming out of high school. And now the all-time leading rebounder in Eagles history. And you talk about that powerful duo, Ian, in terms of Smith and Dudley. You know, coming into this game, 3,731 points between the two of them. <laughs> that stacks up pretty nicely. Thanks. Just missed on a pair, and now a run out for Johnny Gray. Oates is back. Gray strokes it. And rebounded by Oates. Some may think that's not a good shot, but the rhythm shooter coming down on the break. Dudley the other way. Off the rim on a deep one. And Smith getting tied up underneath. That's clean. It's aggressive, but clean. Anthony Brown, the freshman, not backing down from the senior, Greg Smith. Now look at Morica and Brown going after it, and then watch the arm gets caught in there. You obviously see Smith putting his other hand up, trying to get the other one out. I mean, he's a big guy. When he hits you, you're going to go down no matter what. 26-22, five minutes to play in this first half. Gray in a mismatch with Oates. Gray, gorgeous fake. Morica lines it up. He's got it. A three. That works because Gray brought some defenders to them, and Morica, a guy who can go outside, shoot the ball very comfortably, 33% from long range on the season. But more importantly, he gets a nice look and forces Smith to leave the paint to come get him. A gorgeous half-court set. It's Smith on the throwdown. And a fabulous in the middle of the floor screen to allow Smith to come off that curl cut. 28-25, BC. The Eagles felt disrespected here. Moriker, count it. And a chance for three. Christian Moriker to the free throw line. And the first foul on Dudley. Uh, you take a look at the way this team, Pacific, another nice slice cut there and that little fall away flip against the board. First three minutes of this game, I thought all the air was sucked out of Pacific yep. early on, right? They're, they're just like trying to find the rhythm, trying to find the good look. Now all of a sudden you look up, hey, we're right in this, we're comfortable, we can play with these guys is what they're collectively thinking. Double digits for Moore, her chance to tie at the free throw line as Dudley takes a seat for 18 to play in this first half. Christian Morker, 85% shooter. Bob Thompson, little chat with Johnny Gray. Morker gets the roll. And we are tied at 28. 
And I like the fact from the Pacific standpoint, they've changed the defenses up. I think they've recognized we're going to have some trouble against the flex offense man-to-man -man because of the size. So let's switch it up and make Boston College an experienced team think a little bit every possession coming down the floor. BC's largest lead has been nine. We are knotted at 28 and a foul called. Esparza was there as Kennett was trying to penetrate. Esparza picks up the foul. Good one early in Utah. There's a line we all cross in our lives. It's the line between what can I have and what do I want? We each arrive at this line in our own time. But whenever that time comes, things will change just a little bit for the better. Right down to the beer you drink. Enjoy the golden, rich flavor of Miller Genuine Draft. It's beer grown up. We're the Slowskis. Uh, I'm Bill, and this is my wife, Carolyn. Hi. We tried Comcast high-speed internet, but... Everything downloaded so quickly. Yeah. We felt rushed. Rushed yeah. was, is a good way to describe mm -hmm. it. With DSL, we can download way slower than Comcast high-speed internet. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, his middle name is slow. My middle name is Matthew. Yeah. I was joking. Oh. Go way faster than DSL with Comcast high-speed internet. It's Comcasting. You've got one on your tail. They gaming on me? Not a chance. Isn't eSurance one of the fastest growing auto insurance companies in America? You bet. Thousands of drivers switch to eSurance every week. So why does eSurance cruise past the competition? With some of the fastest quotes on the web, eSurance makes auto insurance easy. And you can print your insurance cards instantly. Quote by print. Finish line. If you're on the go, you've got to have eSurance. Get your fast, free auto insurance quote. Visit eSurance.com today. We've changed our colors, we've changed our stripes. Now, we're changing the stuff inside. Introducing the totally reinvented Head & Shoulders, a new HydraZinc formula for healthy hair and scalp with the dandruff control you've always counted on. Hi, uh, Enterprise. I'm at the repair shop, and I need to rent a car. At Enterprise, we'll arrange to pick you up free and get you on your way. Nice day, Mom. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Hey, it's... Your call dropped again, didn't it? Nope, just calling my brother to say, hey, it's... I thought you were calling him about the game. No, just wanted to say, hey, it's... There's a lot between my brother and me, so my tone on those words, hey, it's, really expresses everything I need to say to him. Tired of dropped calls? Switch to Singular. Singular's all-over network has the fewest dropped calls of any wireless network. The leading independent research company proved it. Hey, it's me. I'm here with... Um... Singular, raising the bar. CBS Sports Line keeps you close to the action with live scoring and video highlights. Get up-to-the-minute scores and on-demand highlights for each first-round game at cbssportsline.com. Three fifty-six to go. BC twenty-eight, Pacific twenty-eight. Eagles came in feeling disrespected. We talked to Al Skinner about it yesterday. Not going to focus in on it with his team, but they felt they could have been higher than a four seed and certainly getting the long trip from Boston here to Salt Lake City, 2,000 miles on the quick turnaround after the ACC tournament final. They get home on a Sunday, then Monday, a nine-hour trip out to Salt Lake City. Some plane trouble. Going to be a timeout along the sideline. It will. Get, get the ball. And Al Skinner just to top it off, too. Also mentioned, Diane, yesterday when we were speaking to him, that he wasn't sure how much credit the ACC got as a league with the selection point. committee. No bid for Florida State. No bid for Maryland. Skinner felt both deserved. Just sit right back and grab some tails. The tails of some tasty shrimp. Sensations now at Applebee's are really worth the trip. Saute, crisp fries, a fire grill served on a handy skewer. So many shrimp you'll want to plan a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. So join us here this week, my friend. It's time for eating good. Shrimp sensations new at Applebee's in your neighborhood. All tied up here in Salt Lake City, 
the winner here will take on the winner of the Nevada Montana game coming up here at the Huntsman Center. Be interesting to see how this last three and a half goes to the Pacific because the first four minutes of this game they were really non-existent in terms of being comfortable on the floor. BC established an early inside game. Pacific though for the next 12 minutes won that portion of the game. Check out pump fake from Webb. Yeah, BC unstoppable yeah. through the first four, four and a half minutes of this first half. And you notice even with the passing and the cuts, nice little lob to Morica. Oh, perfectly done, Esparza on the floating pass to Morica for the finish. I'm, in sports, it's a funny thing. When a team loses their confidence for a short period of time, it's almost like they're entirely deflated. You can just sense now that the air has been pumped back in, the energy air, and this team just looks much more comfortable right now. Boston College, one field goal over the last six minutes as that one didn't go down for McLean. Johnson, a three. Even the shots that they're missing, they're confident, they're pulling up, they just look like, hey, that ball's supposed to go down, and that's the way you're supposed to shoot the ball with confidence. 13th seeded Pacific leading number four, BC, 30 to 28, as we approach two minutes to go in this first half. Here's McLean. Trying to ride their senior, Craig Smith. It's a little tighter inside with Pacific laid back. And a foul call. Oh, it was Brown on the strong side. And Morgan doing a good job of pushing Smith up to get his body going towards the basket. And Morica, just a guy who puts up 16 double-doubles this season, has very good hands and can deliver off the catch, doing a nice job of positioning against Craig Smith that time. And as we've touched on, Craig Smith, a little bit of power and strength to try to move him up away from the basket, but he did it successfully. 17 foul against Pacific, one and one for BC. Smith missed on a pair of free throws earlier. And the first one is good, 66% shooter. Causes matchup problems because of all that weight he brings, something Bob Thomason was concerned with coming into the game, but they've done a pretty good job. Smith has gotten his. He has nine points and five rebounds, but certainly has not dominated right. in this first half. Remember that first word when we asked Thomason what his concern was? I think the first word is they're thick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> But you get around thickness by moving and being smart and using your feet and being patient. Under two minutes to go now. Moriker stripped by Smith and a steal. And Smith's ability to move his feet, even with his frame, he's got some soft toes. Open look. Marshall has not been involved here in this first half. There's some numbers if they hurry. Four on two. Johnson, extra feed down the middle and a foul called as Anthony Brown took it strong. Put it. All tied up at 30. And Brown to the free throw line. Fifty-four percent shooter. He's a redshirt freshman out of Sacramento, California. And second free throw coming. Not a lot of depth up front for Thomason. Brown, one of the bigger bodies that he has coming off the bench at 6'7", 225. And that could play into the second half, four or five minutes left in this game, whether the size of BC wears some people out in the Pacific end. But I've always thought in the NCAA tournament, you know, you got the whole summer to get yourself back in shape and worried about the bruises. Just let it all go. And Pacific so far is doing just that in the first half. Pacific up by one. And a step in, near steal for Johnny Gray, but it's out of bounds. 14 seconds left on the shot clock, a minute 22 to play in the first half. Kennett will toss it in for BC. Double digit scoring for Smith and Dudley, no surprise there, but very little from anyone else for Boston College. That's why I think Pacific wants to force this ball out to the perimeter, make other guys rather than Smith here score. Oh, that's creative. Smith on a spin move and a floater. Well, I'd like to see him playing tight end also, but in this sport, he's pretty good. He can really use the footwork, and, and he's so patient using the size and strength, and he shoots the ball only when he's ready to go. Gray 
able to get rid of it. Esparza now attacking on the dish and the layup for Brown. Esparza is like a wild card with specific. He does so many things that goes unnoticed. But right there, how about that strong middle attack? Stop at the free throw line to create a charging opportunity. And a touch foul on Gray out front against Marquez Haynes. You see Esparza just stops and the good catch and delivery down. Deep, smart basketball. Brown with the finish. Anytime as far as it gets it, he's kind of with the left hand. He's a little unorthodox with it, but aggressive and really a difficult guy to figure out what he's going to do, especially on the move and the fly. 18 foul against Pacific. Haynes of the free throw line, a scoring point guard, a freshman from Irving, Texas. Heavily recruited by the likes of Illinois and Colorado and Oklahoma. And able to hit on the first. Coming up tonight on The Late Show, Dave's got Charles Barkley, plus a special top 10 list with speed skating gold medalist Chad Hedrick. That's tonight, The Late Show, here on CBS. Two out of two for Haynes, a 56% shooter. He, could, he comes into the game also, Haynes, to really give them a lift offensively. Played well against Duke in the championship game, the ACC. Mike Webb back on for Pacific, final 38 seconds. 1-2-2 one, two, two look by BC right now, changing their defense up a bit. And the Tigers handle the pressure. Five second difference, shot clock, the game clock winding down here in the first half. And BC has to remember too, if they do miss a shot, they'll have more like seven probably, not the differential because the shot will go up. So they'll have plenty of time to go down the other way. Here's Gray, 10 to shoot. And it's pretty good off the ball defender. Down to five on the clock. Gray, the drive, and hit it. Went for the two-handed block, and a foul call. You're very infrequently, are you going to get the call when you're coming from behind? You see him coming from behind to make this play. The officials and just the basketball instinct, now you're beaten as a defender. You come from the right side and swipe at the ball. Very, very infrequently, are you going to get that call? So the senior, Hennant, picks it up. And Johnny Gray, an 88% free throw shooter at the line. Lewis Hennett, his first, 18. With Hennett out front, who's pretty quick of a foot also. Gray showed us a little bit of speed, just end timeliness in terms of the way he attacked. Mm, missing on the first. Gray, a reserve guard as a junior, and it's really come on strong in a senior season. Marker and Asparza will sit with 9.1. That's always just to save a foul opportunity because crazy plays occur in the last 10 seconds of a half, or, and so you want to make sure you're better players. You don't really pick up a scramble foul to change the tempo going into the second half. One out of two for Gray, and we're all tied up at 34. Timeout, 9.1 remaining. First half, coming back to Salt Lake City. In a moment. Since you haven't had an accident for over three years, I got you a great discount. <laughs> okay. And I even got you a discount for having your airbags. Booyah! And because you have your renter's insurance with us, you save even more. Now you're covered, so to speak. Oh, Mary Angie! Find me, find me. Oh! Join our 40 million fans as State Farm salutes NCAA March Madness. Call an agent today. All tied up, 9.1 to go in this first half. Minneapolis bracket, first round action, 2006 NCAA tournament. Boston College last year got a first round win over Penn, only to run into Wisconsin-Milwaukee in the second round. A number 12 seed. Great run by Bruce Pearlstein. Oh, Bruce, of course, moving on to Tennessee. I still think of that team in that game that these guys played. Boy, was that ever a great, aggressive, intense game of basketball. Final seconds here, first half. Rice, five seconds. Now Dudley, three on the way. Doesn't go. And that's how this first half will end. BC and Pacific tied at 34. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel with Singular at the half. Coming up after these messages and a word from your local station. You're watching CBS Sports, our 25th road to the Final Four.
has always been inspired by the sleek design and technological innovations of the Lexus RX. It's just a disaster. But now that we've made it even more powerful, the competition might find themselves somewhat at a loss. Introducing the new 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus, putting the world on notice yet again. Fancy beach house works with a lot of women, doesn't it? Honestly, it's like a G-spot with two mortgages. I am not getting one of those Brazilian waxes. I did that once. It was like a hair arrow pointing to my C-section. <laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus. Where's my underwear? The new adventures of old Christine. After two and a half men, CBS Monday. Get your motor running. Let's rock and roll! Catch a new Amazing Race, CBS Tuesday. I just put 43 cents into our savings. I'll alert the media. I just put away another 61 cents. Oh, all 61 cents. Yeah. Introducing right. Keep the Change. So far, we've put away $230. Each time you make a purchase with your Bank of America Visa mm -hmm. check card, we round up the amount to the next dollar and transfer your change from your checking to your savings account. Save eight cents. I'll alert the media. Open a checking account and <laughs> keep the change. Only at Bank of America. Higher standards. Introducing Dunkin' Donuts Turbo Hot. Coffee with a shot of real espresso to power you through the day. Stop by and try our new Dunkin' Turbo Hot coffee in one of our delicious flavor varieties. Well, spring's almost here, and you know what that means. I have some activities planned. No, it means big savings at the Claire.com used car clearance. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The Washington's birthday sales event was so successful, they've got hundreds of used cars, and they got to sell them right now. You mean like Toyota? Oh, yeah, hundreds of them. Hey, I heard Claire has a Honda for under 13000 Yeah, they do, and Claire Acura's got deals, too. In the three satin stores? They do, so you can check out the whole inventory at Claire.com. Or visit one of the stores. Yeah, right. One visit could save you thousands. Oh, knock it off. Can't wait. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. Welcome back to our New York studios, everyone. Singular at the Half. I'm Greg Gumbel, along with Seth Davis and Clark Kellogg. 34-34 Pacific and Boston College at halftime. Meanwhile, in Greensboro, Wichita State shooting the lights out against Seton Hall. Let's take you there live. Kevin Harlan and Dan Bonner. Wichita State with the ball. We're just inside the second half. Great feet inside. O'Geary hits Miller. And Miller with a game-high 15. Well, this, this is a game, Kevin, that has seen Wichita State just dominate the inside. Miller has played very well, but offensive rebounding a big factor. Whitney, only three of ten shooting, mostly inside shots in the first half, gets that one to go. Seton Hall, on the other hand, has gotten some offensive rebounds, but they haven't been able to convert. Whitney's got ten points so far for Seton Hall. Here comes Copeland. They've got a three on two. And Copeland decides to set up the offense. And pickpocketed by O'Geary. Bradley tried to get it inside. Nutter kicks it away. Shot clock at 30. We've talked about Wichita State and their ability to dominate inside. This time, O'Geary just finds Miller on the inside. Bill Meyer turned his head, and boy, you can't turn your head and lose that guy. Miller, the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year, has shown us really nice hands and the ability to shoot the ball. Wichita State has not been in the NCAA tournament since 1988. Seton Hall has been in two of the last three years. Wilson, the Illinois transfer, missing a three mentioned in the first half and boy that's a bad pass we mentioned in the first half the ability to shoot the ball for which tossed it and Bradley goes in and Kuzan is the one who tried to knock the ball away and was successful doing that and Wichita State a team which went 24 and 8 and in the Missouri Valley Conference 14 and 4 win bound the ball Utah State, one of four Valley teams that got in the tournament. Fire to Miller. 
Hassan was defending, so they go back outside. Another three. Pryor knocks that down, and now eight three-point hits for the Shuckers in this game. Boy, what a nice inside-outside, moving-the-ball concept that we saw from Wichita State, and we've basically seen that throughout the game. The Shockers really are playing well. Lang inside to Whitney, a second team, all Big East selection with a good corkscrew move inside on Miller. And that's that's a good move. You're right about that, Kevin, but the ball isn't moving. It goes inside to Whitney, and that's been the problem for Seton Hall on offense. Not very much ball movement. Usually the first guy that gets the pass is shooting. There's been great efficiency on the part of Wichita State. 15 assists on 19 made baskets. And wow. some of those made baskets have come above the arc. Wow. And they, they have, we mentioned they have six guys who have made 10 plus three point baskets. And we've seen that kind of versatility that Geary has made four three pointers all by himself. But Wichita State really doing a nice job moving the ball inside. They established Miller inside and then pitching the ball outside for the three. The three point number is very telling thus far in this game. Gauze and Gaines will come in for Seton Hall. Ryan Martin will come in for Wichita State. He's got the ball right now. Bradley to Miller. Dusan defending. And here comes Copeland. He too is a second team all Big East selection. Gaines wearing that mask because of a horrible injury he had earlier in the season. That's out of bounds, and it will be Seton Hall's ball. Gaines was involved in a game in January against Villanova, and going for a loose ball, he was elbowed in the face and had 17 separate fractures in his face, not including his nose. Well, and that's, he had surgery and missed seven games. And can you imagine 17 fractures and only missing seven games? This is one tough guy. About a month is all I missed. Nutter for three, and he's been the best three-point shooter today for three Seton Hall. That is their third. And Nutter is a guy who is a... Greg Gumbel in New York will keep tabs in that game for you. Meanwhile, second half getting underway in Jacksonville between Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Oklahoma. Two-point lead for the Panthers. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, and Stephen Bardo are there. Opening moments of the second half, and the floater from Boo Davis. He's had three of those today, one using the glass. And it's now a four-point lead for Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Opening seconds, Godbold goes over the top of the pressure and is fouled by Chris Hill. Sooners taking a page out of the football coach's book that time. That's how they've broken this press, sending guys long and uh, on the post pattern and hooking up. Yeah, Bob Stoops may want to talk to Kelvin Sampson about some of his guards. <laughs> <laughs> the passing game was a bit of an issue at Oklahoma this year. And uh, Godbold gets to the free throw line. Sophomore from Douglas High School in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Chris Hill picking up his third foul. And Rob Jeter does have some depth in his team. A number of interchangeable parts, really, to this Wisconsin-Milwaukee club. Yeah, and they really don't get hurt when they go to the bench, even though Hill averages double figures. We saw Avery Smith come in, was quite capable of scoring, and bringing the rock up against pressure. That's what that swing offense does. You can get guys in, you can put guards inside, bigs outside. There is a lot of flexibility to that. Right now, I think the, the Panthers need to work on, I'm sure this was talked about at halftime, their productivity against the zone that the, that the Sooners threw out there. Same starting fives for both teams. By the way, Kevin Bookout did aggravate that left wrist injury. It's been broken since uh, late January, and it remains broken, but he's playing tough with it. Everett was poked into the eye, but his vision is fine. He'll be able to play the rest of the way. Tucker had that one obstructed by Godbold, and it's cleared out to Terrell Everett. Godbold to step back off the feed from Everett. He drains the tray, and that ties the game at 35. Well, I think somehow with Everett, you've got to sit on that left hand as he's coming up the floor. Make him go right. Uh, if he can get it that way inside, he's just too dangerous. And he did an old crafty move, what guards do coming up the floor. He followed Tiger into the paint, almost using him as a, a connection to a screen trying to get to the paint. How about that little duck under by Tiger? Makes it a 37-35 game. Oklahoma has never led in this afternoon's game. They tied it again as Everett with the pull-up. Makes it 37-37. Poor communication by Milwaukee. That's the second time Everett was able to get into the paint using the big man, Tucker and Tiger. 
And the foul committed by Jason McCoy after Everett got in the way in the passing lane. Oklahoma has the energy in the opening moments of the second half here in Jacksonville. If you're looking to ramp up your ride, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has a brand new special order center just for you. Your one-of-a-kind, one-stop shop for everything you could ever want in parts and performance accessories. Everything from lift kits to cool custom accessories is ready for direct-to-your-door delivery or convenient in-store pickup. When you want the most complete selection of parts and accessories, the only place to go is the new special order center in Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. We are the men and women of the United States Army Reserve. We are regular people who share our time serving our country and our communities. Our training makes us stronger as soldiers and as citizens who stand ready. To find out how you can serve your country in the Army Reserve, call for this free DVD and get a free sports watch. Stand ready in the Army Reserve. Get ready for something this refreshing. <laughs> Introducing Listerine Pocket Mist, the refreshing way to kill 99% of bad breath germs. New Listerine Pocket Mist. Kill the germs, feel the fresh. Enterprise Rental Car. For the game. Yeah, they pick us up. Free. Free pickup. They ought to be number one. They are number one. So if Enterprise is number one, why don't they have these? <laughs> pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Yeah. I have a little attitude, but I've earned it. I've put in the hours. I practice every day. I've learned from the best, and I have no doubt that I can play at the highest level. Right now, I'm guessing I'll end up in either Chicago or New Orleans. Most good jazz musicians do. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us are going pro in something other than sports. Time to look at another candidate in the singular Naismith watch. Nevada's junior forward Nick Kazikas has earned his second straight Western Athletic Conference Player of the Year award while leading the Wolfpack to the NCAA tournament. A reminder, you can text PLAY to 87654 on your wireless phone for a chance to take the court with Naismith greats at the upcoming Final Four and also to take a shot at $5 million. For more details about this, you can simply log on to cbsportsline.com. We're tied at 37, and near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best, Chevy and American Revolution. You can bet Milwaukee will not be flustered uh, seeing Oklahoma's energy early on. They start five seniors on this team, the only tournament team to do that. In many ways, Rob Jeter's had to call upon the experience of his players because right. he's never been here. Yeah, and rely on it and the fact that they've this is a team that went to the Sweet 16 last year. Most of that is still in place, and uh, I thought that time Tiger a better job defensively. He'd had a lapse, not getting turned around and focused in the last two possessions. They've never trailed. Their largest lead was at 10 in the first half, 24-14. Oklahoma's been very effective since the end of the first half. They've scored on seven straight possessions until that turnover a moment ago. Tie game at 37, 18 minutes to play in the second half. We'll keep you updated on this game. We have some information for you. Coming out of San Diego, Cox Arena is one of our game sites today. Word from San Diego is that that arena has been evacuated. Law enforcement officials are continuing to investigate a suspicious package that was found inside. And, of course, as more details become available, we will bring them to you. We'll take a time out and then back to Salt Lake City for the second half of your game after this. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. An idea is born to build a vehicle that defies classification, inspired by sports car design and propelled by a 320 horsepower engine. This brave idea is called the FX, and it's from a company called Infinity.
Men don't like to shave. They'd rather light their shorts on fire or eat dirt. Easy, fellas. Nivea soothes the pain of shaving. With moisturizers and vitamins, Nivea for Men aftershave balm soothes and improves. Nivea for Men. More evolved skincare. Is it true you do more breaks than anyone? Absolutely. Is something burning? Oh, those are Fred's old breaks. Come to the best. Midas, America's leader in breaks. You'll get pads or shoes for just $99.95 installed. Backed by a nationwide lifetime guarantee. Trust the Midas touch. Since you haven't had an accident for over three years, I got you a great discount. <laughs> okay. And I even got you a discount for having your airbags. Booyah! And because you have your renter's insurance with us, you save even more. Now you're covered, so to speak. Oh, Mary Angie! Find me, find me. Oh! Oh! We good. Join our 40 million fans as State Farm salutes NCAA March Madness. Call an agent today. Hi. Hi. I need this package there by tomorrow. Sure, no problem. Great, thank you. Support for higher education means fewer innovations, like overnight delivery and the Google search engine. All right, let's go. Sacramento. Come on. Let's go. America's colleges and universities. We teach the people who solve the problems and change the world. Schieffer, the most experienced Washington reporter in broadcasting. We think Bob is the best news anchor on the air today. More people are watching the CBS Evening News with Bob Schieffer. Jump in and buckle up with the teams of the amazing race. Let's see how fast you are. And speed around Germany's world famous test track. Whoa. A new amazing race, CBS Tuesday. Greg Gumbel in New York to update a couple scores for you. Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Oklahoma are all tied at 39, 16 and a half to play in the second half. Seton Hall has gone on an 11-3 run to pull a bit closer to Wichita State, was once led by 20. It's now a 53-41 lead for the Shockers, coming up on 13 minutes to play in the second half. A timeout, and we'll send you back to Salt Lake City after this message and a word from your local station. Just sit right back and grab some tails, the tails of some tasty shrimp. Sensations now at Applebee's are really worth the trip. Saute, crisp fries, a fire grill, served on a handy skewer. So many shrimp, you'll want to plan a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. So join us here this week, my friend. It's time for eating good. Shrimp sensations new at Applebee's in your neighborhood. A tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much easier. Now, this really rocks. What a difference Verizon Online DSL makes. Now, for as low as $14.95 a month, you'll get all that speed. So you can really enjoy your computer, camera, and tons of other stuff. I click, and I'm online right away. I'm paying $14.95 a month for my Verizon DSL. That's less than what my slow dial-up cost. I can't believe I had dial-up for so long on this baby. So buy dial-up. If there were a store in your town called Peace of Mind, would you pay it a visit? Across America, in towns big and small, there is such a place, New York Life. It starts with our values of financial strength, integrity, and humanity, and continues with our agents. So look for us in your town. You may already know our people, and we are confident that Peace of Mind is why New York Life is the company you keep. Well, spring's almost here, and you know what that means. I thought I did. That means nothing. Listen, I'm talking about the big savings at the Claire.com used car clearance. Really? Oh, yeah. They've had such a successful sales event for Washington's birthday. they got hundreds of used cars that must be sold right now. Even Mercedes? they got a Mercedes E320 for just $39.90. Wow, really? How about a Caddy? Colonial Cadillac, huge selection. Even Porsche, Audi? Porsche, Audi. You just go online. Claire.com. they got the whole inventory. Or you can visit one of the stores. One visit could save you thousands. Wow. Nice kid. Thanks. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar, Southwest Airlines, Chevrolet, and by Gatorade.
a picturesque setting for the 2006 NCAA basketball tournament. Boston College and Pacific at the half, all tied up. Ian Eagle along with Jim Spinarco, courtside here in Salt Lake. First half, Boston College seemingly in control. What happened? How did Pacific change the flow of this game? I think what they did was pretty simple in my mind. They changed their defenses. They went from a man-to-man, -man, which was not doing anything defensively yeah. against the Boston College flex offense. They went to a matchup zone. They clogged the middle of the floor, and then they tried to force the play out for Boston College to the perimeter. Take a look at the first half highlights here at the Huntsman Center. And we talked about BC and controlling the interior. A lot of great cuts to the rim. Absolutely. Finishing it off right there is Smith. And then we go some adjustments. And then Pacific goes down the other end. And they hit a couple of threes. Webb and Mark are coming down the floor. And also, all of a sudden, you have a team, Pacific, that was very tight, not getting things done in the first four minutes. The last 16 minutes of that half really established themselves as a confident, easygoing bunch of guys on the floor. So BC and Pacific, second half action. The number 13 seeded Tigers taking on the fourth seeded Eagles. There's Webb on a post up marker, kick out. And along the perimeter, Esparza. Now Moriker, dish inside Michael White, no. And rebound controlled by Oates of BC. Good looking pass there though by Morica going to his left and dishing it to his right. On a dump down, extra feed, Smith, Dudley, reverse, no good. And Esparza clears it. And BC continues to look to try to get some action going down on the paint. And 10 of their 12 free throws came from down low as the travels goes the other way. Now let's take a look at Powerade's power in the paint. We've got some power inside the BC. Craig Smith, a guy who really runs off screens very well. When you think about the BC game plan, they had 12 field goals in that first half where 10 of them came either on layups or from four feet and in. So obviously if you're Pacific, you gotta say, hey, it's pretty simple. Let's force them out on the paint as much as possible. You take a look at these numbers. Boston College tries to dominate in short shots. Let's see how Boston College responds here in the second half. As Pacific showed that they're not intimidated. Smith, foul called on his way to the rim. So the entry for Smith, that's the game plan from the very beginning. And White's going to pick up the foul. That's number two on him. For BC, their seniors, no other class in school history has won as many games. They're 94 and 34 over the four-year span. Smith able to get to the interior for the deuce. Sometimes he finishes it off strongly. Other times you get to see his real soft hands go to work. That trip a little bit of a floater to make the adjustment. And BC leads by two. We are just underway. Second half here in Salt Lake. White to Moriker. In and out on the jump hook. Boy, that shot's supposed to go down. Well delivered to the post from the high post. Little high-low action that really separates you on the floor. Look at Smith working down there. Good job by White defensively also. Moriker now five of nine from the field. And here, watch the little slip through and see the soft little delivery that time by a rugged guy named Smith. And watch White come around. He's trying to keep the ball away from the offensive player. Good job by White, though, to move his feet first and then defend second. Look at the collapse by Pacific right now. You see four, three, four types. Black jerseys in the paint as much as possible. Can it using the high screen for Smith? <laughs> That's a pretty good screen. On the spin and a jump shot. So Lewis Hinnon, really not much of a score, average just over seven points per game this season, but will do whatever the team needs depending upon the rhythm of the game. Solid, nothing flashy, excellent distributor. Nearly five assists per game this season in the ACC. Entry, White, Dudley takes it away. Well, the other problem this last trip for him and coming down the floor was the screen set by Smith. Marshall searching for his range, and he finally gets involved. That's a three for Sean Marshall. The junior from Rialto, California, frustrating first half for him. 
And now BC with a 7 nothing run to open up this second half. Gray, pull up. Oh, he's got a smooth delivery. And not only that, but how about the catch and the fake for the head and shoulder fake to get the defender to release and leave the floor. And when you get a taller guy out there, 15 feet or so, the little guys just love to get the big guys moving and getting them up in the air. Working on this zone, BC with Smith high post. Dudley and fouled along the baseline as Moriker came out to greet him. That'll be number two on Christian Moriker. And the second team foul against Pacific. Tigers have won 14 of their last 15 games coming into this NCAA tournament. One of the hottest teams in the nation. Hennett, catch and shoot. Book it. That's the thing that Al Skinner and company were talking about. Hinnett is just this guy on the floor who you start thinking they're power forwards. The way they play this game, they dump it down low to Smith. They look for Dudley, but Hinnett just continues to bring fine playmaking skills to the floor night in and night out for them. Efficient. Yeah. I mean, it's just so smooth at what he does. Here's Moriker. And he's fouled. Oates came over to help with Marshall. And Oates will pick up the personal 16-14 mark. Second half. Second foul on Oates. And Moriker to the free throw line. This is a very good free throw shooting team. Something to keep in mind late in this game if we find ourselves in a tight one. Moriker shoots it at 85%. Gray, 88%. Esparza, 87%. Webb is an 82 percent shooter. That's the thing when you get four guys over 82. That will help you win some close games. But they have to continue to attack, I think. Other than the fact when BC has Sean Williams in there, who's their really true shot blocking leader, BC is the type of team that you can go after. You can challenge them, even though they're big, big and rugged down deep. Christian Marker now fourth on Pacific's all time scoring list. Marshall off balance, rebounded by Marker. Here's Gray running, picked up by Dudley. White defensively was so enamored with trying to get Smith out of that ball, actually hit him in the face off the rebound. White on a turnaround. Esparza was able to get a piece of it, but it's controlled by Smith. Well, and he's holding some part of his left side of his body, and it might be the lower left leg. Just jogged his way down to the forecourt and grimaced in pain. 43-38, Boston College, second half here in Salt Lake. They just continue to look for bodies to put screens on. There's Smith. White playing off him. Had a foul called as Dudley was moving without the ball. And he got tied up with Esparza. And that's going to be the second foul on the junior, Anthony Esparza. A timeout. 43-38, Eagles with the lead. Card. Protect yourself with Capital One's low rates and great rewards. I'm so there for you. Oh. What's in your wallet? 
It's the hot thing in activewear. Bengay's Ultra Strength Pain Relieving Patch. Now even stronger for deep heating relief. And it lasts up to eight hours. Try the Ultra Strength Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what's hot in pain relief. Want to get away? Now you can. With Southwest Airlines Internet Specials, fly to 61 destinations for just $49 to $159. You're a CSI Miami agent, and you're trained for this. But you freeze anyway, putting lives at risk, and everybody knows it. Where you pulled the Statue of Liberty? I didn't have a clean shot. New CSI Miami, one day. Get your degree in madness at CFTV. Boston College up by five, 15, 16 to go. Second half here at the Huntsman Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Smith looked like an ankle problem. He landed awkwardly off the rebound action. And watch right in here, the, the, right there, Ian, when he comes down, it's, it's really the front of his foot instead of the whole foot. Sometimes when you come down on a, a foot like that and just plant at the front, it really throws the ankle off worse than just rolling it in a total fashion. Smith remains in there, though. It's going to take a little bit more than that, possibly, to get him off the floor. Dudley, keep it on the perimeter. Hit it. Entry. And White hitting the deck, but it's saved by Smith. White just has his hands full with Smith. Oates. That's a three. John Oates, a 34% three-point shooter at six foot ten. Able to knock it down. All right, and at 6'10", you do not expect him to do that, but he will and has done that for BC this season. Four-fifths of their starting lineup back from last year's tournament team. Nate Dornicamp was the senior center who graduated, and Oates has assumed that role. Little push, no call. Morker was looking for it on the follow, and a foul underneath. So the body from Oates did not draw the whistle, but off the rebound, the call was made. Tournament summary, a record eight Big East teams in the field of 64. Four Missouri Valley teams in the tournament this season, a source of a bit of controversy on Selection Sunday. We'll see how the four teams fare here in the 2006 yeah, tourney. They will definitely be a focal point in the Big East Conference, really extending it to 16 teams this year. Pretty much the top 12 teams, fairly competitive, especially the middle of the bunch. Third foul on Oates. Long jump shot, Webb. And it's rebounded by Smith. BC starting to get their legs underneath them right now and reestablishing as they did in the first five minutes of this basketball game. Starting to reestablish their game, which is look for it, hit the screens, and then pop it to the blocks. Chance to take their largest lead of the day. Smith against White playing with three fouls. Hit it on a kick out. And on that pass off, oh, it's going the other way. Smith just erupted. A little push off down there. You know, there was a lot of traffic underneath the basket, too. I thought they were going to call a three seconds call. Al Skinner, who was on that side of the floor. There's a little bit of a hold right there, but that wasn't the call. The call basically on Smith, the other side of the floor, with the bodies bouncing a little bit. And Smith picked up his second personal foul. 46-38. Third team foul against Boston College. Pacific having a tough time generating offense in this second half. Down low, Morker. And he draws Oates on his fourth foul. Oates reacts after the whistle. And when you start to ask for, as you just did there, some offense with Pacific, who do they usually go to as Morica with his catch? And notice the ball fake just then. He brings the ball up strongly. He gets the defender to hesitate just a little bit. Oates has no choice then because he's a little bit, doesn't look like it, but out of position because of that good ball fake. So we'll see Sean Williams pop off the bench for BC. And Oates will head to the sideline with four fouls. Morker in and out at the line. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best. Chevy, 
and American Revolution. Little switch up defensively after the made free throw. Take a little time off the clock, make BC think a little bit more. Coming down the floor, what kind of set Pacific's gonna throw at them defensively. And the BC lead is seven. Cut, Smith, and he comes up short, follows it, and Smith! Oh, that's a man's jam on the inside. Well, the problem is that he gets himself in great position for the initial play, and then because of his size and bulk and his hands, he's just so hard to move out of there. A terrific finish. 48-39, BC. 14-5, to five, they've outscored Pacific here in the second half. Smith, another board. Good job by Dudley, too, out on the perimeter, tracking the little guards. And BC slows it down with Marshall out front. Here's Hinnett. Dudley, that's an open look. And rebounded by Esparza, looking to run out. And taken away by Williams. Some pushing and shoving. And a foul called. I was going to say, that might be on Esparza right there. It is, number three. And keep in mind on this play, the fans don't like the call, but no one had established possession on this play. And you have a situation there where Esparza just continues to reach and grab. The thought process is a good one, but Bob Thomason basically saying, what can you do? The ball was not possessed by anybody. So BC holds onto it. New shot clock to work with. Smith down low. Dudley, excellent position. And a foul call. Mike Webb got caught underneath. And a bit of a mismatch. 6 1 against 6 7. Second foul on Webb. And they're calming down Esparza along the sideline. And your point well taken, too, there, Ian, in terms of Dudley against Webb with that size advantage. That's what the flex is designed to do, to keep moving, set the screens, and force guys to react and guard you. And when you have those switches down below, it just is really open season for the big, stronger guys for BC. 12 points now for Dudley. And tack on another. BC has its largest lead of the day, 50 to 39. Pacific one field goal in this half. They're one for eight from the field. Moriker puts it on the floor. And Williams, the denial, a foul call. <laughs> Williams, as dangerous a shot blocker as you'll find in the nation. And Moriker able to draw the personal. Timeout, BC up by 11. Nothing is more powerful than the truth, and the truth is, more Americans choose Chevy than any other brand. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Check out Chevy Cobalt LS with an EPA-estimated 34 highway miles per gallon. Get a 2006 Cobalt LS Coupe with an MSRP starting at $12,990. Or get it for less during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. See your local Chevy dealer. for retirement. Who can help you feel more confident about your future? The Hartford. Prepare to live your future the way you've always seen it. See your advisor about the latest products and solutions from the Hartford. Because you're not preparing to retire. You're preparing to live. 
the Hartford. Prepare to live. What kind of kiss would you like? How about a free kiss from Earthlink? Get a free kiss spyware scan to help kiss spyware goodbye. Visit earthlink.net for a free spyware scan today. Little help, baby! <laughs> Little help! <laughs> That's my delivery pizza! For fresh baked pizza at home, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> BC 50, Pacific 39, 11.58 to go in the second half. They're in Salt Lake City, and critical time here for Pacific. So the Tigers have a run left in them, Moriker at the free throw line. Right, and, and right at the 12-minute mark, approximately, you have that about five minutes to reestablish your confidence as a team and that's where i would look for pacific right now to do some little fancy changes bob thomas is probably coming out of there after this set will throw a little bit of a trick defense at them not necessarily come back with the same man-to-man -man defense but change it up maybe look for a little bit of a trap and marker missing on the first just to let you know the marquette alabama game still time to be determined both teams are at their hotel We'll keep you posted on everything going on out in the San Diego area. As first-round action continues here in the 2006 NCAA Tournament. Here in Salt Lake, Boston College with a 50-40 to 40 lead. 11.47 to play in the second half. 1-2-2 one, two, two full court. They go back into a matchup defense, which has been their most effective one to try to stop the interior play of the, the Eagles. Hennett straight away, short. And out of bounds, last touched by Webb. It's effective, the defense, from the standpoint that it forces you out on the court, the offense away for Al Skinner's team, but it also allows the Eagles, in this case, from its uh, offensive rebounding standpoint. That foul called as they got it into Marshall quickly. Anthony Brown came over on the defensive end. And free throws coming for... Sean Marshall, yet another West Coast product on his Boston College team. Sixty-two percent shooter and an air ball. Just never has found a flow here today. Marshall able to hit that one three-pointer in the second half. We'll try to laugh this one off. There's been steady improvement over his three years at BC. Hard worker, swing man at six foot six, and makes up for it. One out of two. And so you throw up an air ball, and then you come back, and you look like you're a 90 percent free throw shooter with the next shot with that form, rotation. Boston College wins this game. He'll hear about that after the game tomorrow in the practice. 51 to 40. Johnny Gray has been quiet in this second half. Better job attacking the perimeter by Boston College. And here you see a good, strong double team. And a tie off possession arrow to BC. Well timed, the double team just then. Worker catching the ball fairly cleanly. Al Skinner making a change that time to make a quick adjustment. Next time, next time he catches the ball, let's double team him. He hasn't been seeing too many of those this afternoon. Now the physicality of BC, just as Moriker touched it. You saw white jerseys flock. And they could add to their 11-point lead. We approach the midway point of this second half. Here's Hinnett using the Smith screen. Marshall. Ten on the timer. And he traveled. Marshall just having a tough time today. Yeah, he really is. He's got to roll in his head a little bit just then in frustration. The trick is this guy, Al Skinner, who knows how to play a little basketball, played some years in the... In the ABA, NBA, had a good college career. He's one of those guys who basically says, I'm not going to let things bother me. You know, if, if, if I can't control them, I'm not going to let them bother me. And he tries to employ that to his players to get them to think the same way. On a setup for Moriker, kick out. Johnson lets it fly. Way off. And rebound is snatched oh. by White. <laughs> White almost put that in on the way down. And White may have hurt his foot as he went down. There's Dudley. 
BC leads by 11. And they've controlled things here in the second half. Pacific has not rediscovered that magic from the first half. Down low, Smith. He was expecting bodies to come at him. Instead, Smith got a clean pat to the rim and gets it to go on the follow. And, and a great execution just then because the middle of the floor against the zone and that time with the matchup is usually wide open. Great recognition there by BC. 18 points, 10 rebounds for Smith. His 13th double-double of the season. He's had four in a row. Here's Gray. Nice up fake. And good hold of the left foot, too. The left foot almost came up, which would have been a violation, a traveling violation, but held his ground pretty nicely. Pacific has to start picking up their tempo at the offensive end and start putting the ball on the floor and trying to make things happen. Johnny Gray's dad, Johnny, a five-time Olympian, U.S. record holder in the 800 meters. Set it back at 85. Dudley. He's strong. Yeah, and collectively they're strong. They continue to really pound it in downside. They recognize his strength, and one of the things that Al Skinner does so well with his team is they don't make too many adjustments in terms of who they're playing against. They stick to their guns. They come and bring what they do well. They continue to just do it over and over again. 55-42, methodical second half here for BC, just going about their business. Pacific to Moriker underneath uncontested yeah gray just lost that shot when he was going up for it nobody hit his arm or anything and smith just turned and forced it back in play so pacific gets an easy bucket and a lucky bucket on that one 19 for moriker he's the high man for pacific gray the next highest scoring tiger with 10. they come up on eight minutes to go in this second half dudley back iron on a three esparza the rebound Here's Gray, pull up, pop, they need it. They've got it, a triple for Johnny Gray. Now that starts to put a little bit more belief. They're gonna extend the defense again and try to pick the tempo up now. They gotta change the tempo both at a defensive end, try to get BC to take a quicker shot than they want right now. Because as we've noticed the last minute and a half or two, BC is content taking time off the clock. Sometimes that will take you out of your rhythm offensively. Get it down to single digits, 55-47. 10 to shoot for BC. They obviously want to defend well right here for Pacific, but make sure you get a next good shot next possession. In it, slips it to Williams. Shot clock's down to two. Smith. Whoa, jump ball. And jump ball favors Pacific as the shot clock was about to hit double zero. And Al Skinner does not like that call at all on the sidelines. Johnny Gray trying to lead the Tigers back in the second half. Wow, that guy that took the elbow says he's in bad shape. Uh, he's better now. A kid from State may go pro. He decided not to. So Tech is favored to win. They didn't. How do you know? This is today's news. No, this is... Fine, phone boy. Singular MediaNet. Latest scores, breaking news, bracket challenge. If you've got Singular, you can personalize your phone for NCAA March Madness. To get a two-for-one deal and radial tires in here. Singular. Raising the bar. Apparently, somebody was up late last night. Make that somebody's. And that's okay. Because if you work hard, you play hard. Just don't look in the mirror. Unless you're using Nivea for Men Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Q10 restores your skin, leaving it healthy and fit. Well, that takes care of your face. But don't forget about your eyes. Reduce puffiness and lose the dark circles with Revitalizing Eye Cream Q10. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. Available features like 8-way power heated driver's seat, Bose premium sound system, and remote start with climate control. Introducing the all-new Impala. It's a whole new animal. Chevy Impala, an American revolution. Smooth Bud Light. Always worth it.
you see my moves back there? Z still got it. Introducing Papa's new Perfect Pan Meats Pizza. Yeah! Our golden pan crust, deep and square, piled with pepperoni, sausage, ham, and bacon. With a zesty new Robusto sauce, try a large Perfect Pan Meats Pizza for just $12.99. $12.99. Call now or order at PapaJohns.com and we'll deliver. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now a better pan. Papa John's. Yeah, we got it. Craig Gumbel in New York. We'll get you back to Pacific and Boston College in just a moment. First, want to give you a look at what's happening at Cox Arena in San Diego, where fans awaiting the start of the NCAA tournament action there are still waiting outside the arena. Earlier today, the inside of the arena was cleared of all personnel. Law enforcement officials were examining a package that was found that was suspicious to them. Tip time is 2.40 Eastern time for the start of the first game between Alabama and Marquette. That is obviously going to be delayed. Both those teams still back at their hotels. We'll keep you advised as we get closer and get more information. Let's send you back to Ian and Jim. Greg, thanks very much. Here in Salt Lake City, BC with a 55 to 47 lead on Pacific. We approach seven minutes to go in this second half. Pacific with wins each of the last two years in the first round over Providence and Pittsburgh. They've done it before. Outside Esparza. They got Williams leaning for a moment. Ten to shoot. Entry, White. Esparza, a three. Knocks it down. It is not pretty, but it's efficient, baby. It's a funny-looking second cock of the wrist right there, but when you drop one down, and great basketball for Pacific to test the waters down deep. Now, all of a sudden, they're getting a little bit of this life back in their legs. You know what? Pacific will take unorthodox right now. They don't care. <laughs> they're it. back within five. Doesn't have to be pretty. Outside, Rice has checked in for BC, an 8-0 run for the Tigers. Why they don't put those pictures on the stat sheets anymore, you know? Seven to shoot. Rice, floater up front, and the finish by Smith. Good decision there by Rice. Does he really understand how to play? And obviously, when you're in need a bucket, not a bad guy to go to Smith. Terrific position once again down deep. 20 points, 10 rebounds for Smith. BC leads by seven, and even six minutes to play in Salt Lake. Moriker strip gets it back. He's got to remember with Williams in there, he's a great shot blocker, so you have to be careful. Here's Gray feeding Moriker, 10 to shoot. Quick move to the rim, and a foul call. They're able to beat Williams off the spin. Let's take a look at the release. Up, rotation, one-handed push, and, but you know what? It counts. Yep. <laughs> and here's Craig Smith using his body and that time recognizing a double team coming towards him quickly. Instead of catching it and going back down, he releases the ball at the top of his jump. Moriker second free throw coming with NCAA March Madness on demand. You can watch live tournament games on your computer outside of your viewing area for free. Sign up now at ncaasports.com slash MMOD. Two out of two for Moriker, and it's 57-52. Moriker has eight points in the second half, 21 overall. And once again, both teams extending the defense, take a little time off the clock. And BC, I think, has to still get into their sets with five and a half minutes left. They just don't want to really sit back and take time off the clock and throw out, throw off their rhythm. Here's Dudley. On a bounce for Hennett. Nice cut. cut. And Dudley on the give and go. Beautiful play by BC. They take a seven point lead. 59 52, Boston College. 5 12 to go in this second half. On a pump by Gray. Pacific trying to rally. Webb inside. Moriker the finish and the foul. Oates. And that's it. Number five on Boston College center, John Oates. And watch him. He tries to keep his body away right there. But it's a little bit of the flick. He's out of position. And Mork is the type of guy going to the basket. He's very tricky. Oates pays the price and will exit this game. Five points for Oates. Four fouls in the second half. How does this change the approach for Al Skinner? 
Well, you put Marshall back on the floor for Owen, so really I don't think it changes it too much right now because these guys are experienced, and I think you have to keep reminding ourselves of that as BC has an edge with the experience. They have interchangeable parts down deep, and really with Oates, a guy who has helped them, but down the stretch here, they'll miss his defense more than anything against Morica. Now, let's not forget, Pacific is a senior-oriented team themselves. Right. A lot of these guys were in understudy roles a year ago, but not Morica. And he has become the patented go-to guy this season, the Big West Player of the Year. 13-4 to four extended run for Pacific. And I think they have collectively less pressure on them comparatively to BC. Rice, the freshman, rebounded by Webb for Pacific. So if somebody's going to press, it will be BC. Esparza to the goal, missed it on the running one-hander. Nice. Able to fight for it, though. That's the beauty of his game. Gray to White. A wonderful drive by Gray through the middle of the lane. Esparza doing a great job. This team is ready to play down the stretch here. It looks like we're shaping up to have a pretty good one. A two-point game with 4.17 to play. Isn't it funny also how fans, and they don't wear any colors necessarily, but they like the underdog. Timeout in Salt Lake. BC leads by two. This is Gary Poole, a genial guy from Trenton, New Jersey. Gary's been married for almost 10 years, but until a recent trip to McDonald's, didn't know it. Gary had fresh brewed premium roast coffee with his McGriddles, and it was like he was seeing her for the very first time. He had no idea we were married. Gary thought she was cute, so it was okay. It's like we're newlyweds all over again. Start your morning with richer, bolder premium roast coffee and add a warm, tasty McGriddles. Wake up and smell your life. I hope there aren't any other wives. Okay. I open the Thermacare box, and I think, wow, this is, what is this? And while I'm wondering what a heat wrap does, I realize, whoa, it gets hot. Then I put it on my aching back, and it really starts to sink in. The heat, I mean. It's like a heating pad without the cord. It goes anywhere. Ah. And before long, my aching back is not aching anymore. <laughs> I feel like I could do backflips. Bad idea. What kind of kiss would you like? How about a free kiss from Earthlink? Get a free kiss spyware scan to help kiss spyware goodbye. Visit earthlink.net for a free spyware scan today. Good. Well, I, uh, I can't tell. Come on! Coca-Cola Zero. Try to believe it. In leadership, no word is more important than trust. You can trust Chevy, the brand more Americans choose. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Like Silverado half-ton crew cab with more interior room than Ford F-150 Super Crew. Get a 2006 Chevy Silverado half-ton crew cab LS two-wheel drive starting at $22,990 after cash back. Or get it for less during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. See your local Chevy dealer. CBS Monday. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. Go well, higher, baby. Higher, baby. Come on, higher. You catch all the action on the King of Queens. CBS Monday. Take a look at the game summary. Boston College leading it 59 to 57. BC struggling from beyond the arc. And Pacific making a charge here in this second half. Former U.S. track star Johnny Gray, his son, the point guard, leading this push for Pacific. Now Johnny came out and said, look, when I was competing, I knew the pressure was on me. I right. could handle it. It's my son. I have no control. It's much more difficult. Oh, absolutely. Watching your children play the game is not fun all the time. And a scrap for the loose ball. Moriker able to grab it. And a tie-up. Boston College will hold on to it off the possession arrow. Career highlights for Johnny Gray, four-time Olympian. The 92 Olympic bronze medalist in the 800 meters, as mentioned. Still the U.S. record holder in that event. And his son, 
Johnny the third, a junior college transfer from Moore Park College in California. And his son has performed at a high level in his senior season and has been very clutch for Bob Thomason's team. And interesting enough, this game right now with four minutes has turned into a sprint. Who's going to win the sprint? It's not a real long race, but it's going to be fun. Outside, Dudley. And even four minutes to play here in Salt Lake. And once again, notice Pacific, as much as they possibly can, they're guarding the middle of the floor and the baseline area. Rice gives it up. Marshall, spread the floor. Smith in there a long time, too. They got to make sure the officials keep him out of there. And a foul called as Smith got the delivery against White. And that's going to be the fourth foul. We'll step aside, 3.43 left. It's a tight one, BC and Pacific. Think about Chamberlain garage door openers, how reliably they perform, how they open your day. The nice thing is, you really don't need to pay much attention. Chamberlain's there, providing convenience, safety, and security. Like our ever-charged battery backup system. Now, your garage door opener works even when your power's out. It's important, because no matter where life takes you, your destination is always home. You're welcome home. The pursuit of healthy, beautiful hair. The lengths we've gone to. The things we've tried. When all along, the secret to healthy hair is a healthy scalp. Go straight to the source with the totally reinvented head and shoulders. The HydraZinc formula contains six times the moisturizers for your scalp and hair. It's healthy, beautiful, and 100% flake-free. Surprise yourself with one of the nine formulations of the new head and shoulders. Truly healthy hair starts at the scalp. Just sit right back and grab some tails, the tails of some tasty shrimp. Sensations now at Applebee's are really worth the trip. Saute, crisp fried, a fire grill served on a handy skewer. So many shrimp you'll want to plan a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. So join us here this week, my friend. It's time for eating good. Shrimp sensations new at Applebee's in your neighborhood. What are they doing? Sweetie, see, when the men shoot the ball through the hoop, their team gets two points. Yeah, they need to switch out of the 2-3 and go box and one before that forward kills them with a weak side tray. And when they bounce the ball, it's called dribbling. Catch a new episode of How I Met Your Mother, CBS Monday, right after The King of Queens. Greg Gumbel in New York will get you to Salt Lake City in just a moment after we update you on what's happening out in San Diego. They have opened the doors to Cox Arena, and fans are now being allowed to enter the arena. We don't as yet have a tip time for Alabama and Marquette, but as soon as we do, we will pass that information along to you. Let's get you back to Salt Lake City and rejoin Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco. Greg, thanks for the information. Boston College leading Pacific here, 59 to 57, 343 remaining, and a one and one coming up. Michael White just picked up his fourth personal foul. And it's Craig Smith to the free throw line, 66% shooter. Big game for him, 20 points, 10 rebounds. He's two for four from the line today. The one and one. Short and knocked out of bounds. Last touch by BC. That's an amazing thing to me, though, I am the fact that guys aren't ready to rebound, miss free throws. Look at the game reset. Boston College clinging to the two point lead. Each team with 17 fouls. Foul trouble. Oates has already fouled out for BC. White has four for Pacific. Pump fake. Wet. He'll step back for the lead. And it rims out. Morica oh. in a battle with Smith. Boy, that was Morica's rebound if he wanted it, but Smith said, no, no, not here. That's not going to happen. Boy, was that ever a big-time board by Smith. 
Count it down to the three-minute mark here in the second half. Boston College up by two. Dudley. Keep it on the perimeter for Rice. They're about that six-minute mark. BC went into Carter almost like a slow-down, methodical offense and haven't been able to get their rhythm back. Rice, side rim. Esparza stolen by Rice. And the block for Esparza. Probably not a good decision. A terrific play by Rice to steal it. And Gray's wide open. No good on the three. Hit it. Able to save for BC. Boy, did Gray ever get a terrific look at that long-range shot. He just can't believe, watching his reaction going down the other end of the floor, can't believe that he missed that shot. Had a chance to give them a one-point lead. White continues to have his hands full with Smith down low, just trying to hopefully keep the ball out of his hands. There's Hennett, looking to make a play, dishing for the two-handed jam. It's Smith. The finish by Smith, the start by Hennett. Another great drive to the middle of the floor. 61-57, B.C. The two-handed dunk for Smith, giving the Eagles a four-point lead with 2.06 remaining. Ten is less than 50. Powerade Option, the low-calorie sports drink. Ten is less than 50. Powerade Option, the low-calorie sports drink. Here in Salt Lake City, Utah, the Minneapolis bracket. First round action, Boston College with a 61 to 57 lead over 13th seeded Pacific. The game reset with 2.06 remaining. Possession arrow favors Pacific. There was a stretch in that second half where it looked like Boston College was ready to close the door. But Pacific showing its resiliency, battling back, mixing it up from the perimeter and inside with Moriker. Nice cut down deep. And White tried to squeeze a pass in. They turn it over. And that was hit it again. We talked about him on the offensive end of the floor. A nice slip cut defensively there to make that steal opportunity. Big possession with a minute 42 to go. Eagles up by four. Pacific is going to try to make this possession go along the perimeter as much as they possibly can. BC wants it in the hands of Smith on the blocks. White using his body against Smith. This is Rice. Unable to penetrate. Hinnett lets it fly. No good for three. And Dudley the long rebound. And a new shot clock for Boston College. Now the instincts tell you to go towards the basket on those long shots. But really you have to turn back as a guard and play perimeter defense first. And then look for the long rebound on the kick. So BC will use more clock. Marshall straight away. Off the rim. And Moriker with the board. We're under one minute to play. They have to go quickly but smartly right now. No time to panic. Plenty of time on the clock, but they very much need a good luck. Crucial half-court set for Pacific. Here's Moriker, their go-to guy. Yes. And he's fouled from three-point territory. Moriker is going to the line for three free throws. Dudley came out to deal with him. And the first thing you taught when you guys shoot the ball from long range is put your hands up, but do not at all costs touch the shooter, especially in game time situations down the stretch. Well, Bob Thomason told us that Moriker this year has really embraced the idea of being the guy on this team. Average 17 points per game, nine rebounds during the season. Two out of two with one more coming for Moriker. Big fell has a nice look at rhythm right there also. Great and follow through and rotation on the ball at the line. Anthony Brown checks in for Michael White. He can cut it to one. Moriker, all three. He drills it. Boy, that's gutty right there. Great shooting at the line. Situational shooting. And I like this change. I try to get them to play a little quicker. Differentials about 10 seconds or so. And a foul call. Esparza outside against Hennett. 
One point game with 38.3 left. Boston College 61, Pacific 60. And hit it to the free throw line. As far as a call for the foul, way outside. Well, and it's situational, too. I'm just thinking, Hinnitz, I think, was thinking the same thing. Why are you fouling me right now? He'll go to the line, 67%. A one and one A second free throw coming for Lewis Hinnitz, the senior. He's been unselfish throughout his four years at BC. A modest scorer, outstanding defender, and a chance to give his team a three-point lead with 38.3 remaining. He nails it. And the first thought process is, hey, I'm down three points right now with the ball. I need a three. Get it down the floor and go right at the basket and attack. Try to get a two as quickly as you can. Esparza with 25 to shoot. 26 seconds on the game clock. Pacific down by three. Here's Gray. Whips it inside. White. The layup goes down. A terrific cut by White. A better delivery by Gray. And now that's the smart play by Gray. Right up. Now you stretch this thing out. 19.8 seconds left. A couple of fractions of a second go off the clock. Well designed defensively just then. Pacific and company are thinking at the defensive end. A good strong cut though by White. We touched on the fact that he is one of these unheralded guys. He plays big in big games and comes up with productive plays. And right there, not many bigger this season. On a senior-oriented team, Pacific found the freshman, Tyrese Rice, 76% shooter, one and one, and he nails the first free throw. Two-point lead for the Eagles. 19.8 remaining. He looked like a seasoned freshman on that one. A prolific high school score. And he knocks down a pair. You can still look for a quick delivery to the basket. You have plenty of time. You don't want to panic and force a long shot up. And Gray slips for a moment. Kept the dribble alive, though. That's legal. 12 seconds left. Moriker for the tie. Got him! Oh, you don't need it, but it's the first when you get it. Gray is just delivering the goods. Such a huge play, Ian, that he did not catch the ball as he fell to the floor just then kept his delivery and dribble alive. We are all tied up. Final seconds in Salt Lake coming up. Favorite one five. This is Bobcat. Please get from weapon and his cat. Four is the effect of following. Three. Echo. Hotel. Over. Sausage, ham, and bacon with a zesty new Robusto sauce. Try a large Perfect Pan Meats pizza for just $12.99. $12.99. Call now or order at PapaJohns.com and we'll deliver. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now a better pan. Papa John's. Yeah, we got it. 65-65, the number four seed in the Minneapolis bracket, Boston College, and the number 13 seed, Pacific, with 9.1 left on the clock, Boston College ball. Well, a couple of things you think about. BC, with those three timeouts, have the luxury of trying to get the ball and advance it up the floor. If they get it up the half court or beyond in, say, three or four seconds, you might see them call a timeout. But if I'm Pacific, more importantly, what I want to do right now is that I got to control the tempo defensively. Don't make any clear, stupid mistakes defensively and allow an open shot, but come at them and be aggressive. Now, BC, on the other hand, very important to remember, the worst thing that should happen to BC right now is an overtime game. There is no doubt what time of year it is. <laughs> and it's fabulous. Here we go. Seven seconds, Smith across. Five seconds, Smith Whoa. above. He traveled. Great job by Gray again. Offensively, Gray doing the work. Defensively, he got in the way. A little help by his teammates to get the big guy, and that's exactly what you don't want if you're BC, a big guy handling the ball. Let's see if Pacific 
who doesn't have a timeout here. Let's see if they get the ball to a guard to create. One other thing, too, when you catch the ball right now, Ian, you have about two, maybe three dribbles if you're going towards your basket to get a shot off. 3.9 left. Pacific looking for the win. Get it in for Webb. Two seconds, one second. Tight defense from BC. Great job by Dudley just then to step in. I don't know if he's going to get the call. I like the fact that Dudley was thinking catch and timeout. He may get a fraction put on this clock. But it was a terrific setup defensively by Dudley to step up and make a stance defensively. And that is the question now, whether there was time left on the clock when Dudley had possession and took the timeout. That's what the officials will look for right now. Yeah, there are a couple times, obviously, at the end of the games. This is a no-brainer that they could go. Now, let's see when he gets possession. There's the ball, possession. Uh, you know, it, it's... Two tenths? Two tenths, maybe. And then, by the way, you can't get a shot off. Keep in mind, at two tenths of a second, the ball comes in. You've got to glide the ball or tap the ball towards the basket. Let's see now. The ball's going to kick back a little bit. Dudley's number three right here. And watch the ball. is going to go back first. Now he calls timeout. Mm. And when does the official? He calls it. But when does the official recognize it? I don't know if he's going to get. If he gets two tenths, it's a lot. He's not getting more than two tenths, I don't think. Uh, that's what it's going to be. Two tenths of a second put on the clock. So we are tied at 65. Point two now on the clock. Mike Sanzer explaining it to Bob Thomason. <laughs> Pacific thinking, hey, we're, we're going to overtime here. What, what are you talking about? Two tenths of a second. Selfishly, I'm glad they're talking about it so we can take a breath. This has been some start. A look back with yeah. Boston College. They had a chance to win it in regulation, yeah. and Smith called for the walk. And just as I said, Dudley down one end defensively. As far as defensively stepping in to make life difficult for Smith. So BC in a situation you cannot catch it. This is a. You have to guide the ball oh. or a tap scenario near the rim. Dudley will toss it in. Two tenths on the clock before overtime. And it throws it up. We are headed to overtime. First game of the day in Salt Lake. A white knuckler tied at 65. As we get ready for overtime here in Salt Lake City, Utah. First game of the day here at the Huntsman Center. Winner here will move on to take on the winner of Nevada and Montana, the 5-12 matchup. Christian Moriker, a three-pointer to tie it. BC had a chance to win it. Smith called on the turnover, then Pacific with a chance to get out of here with a victory, unable to get a shot off. Yeah, Morica with a huge, huge shot. You know, we have to give him credit also for his free throw shooting. Hit those three yep. straight. I mean, down the stretch in gray. Just marvelous execution at the offensive end. And most impressive to me was the patience they showed for a team that was kind of like in trouble, clock situation and scoreboard-wise. Boston College has won its last eight overtime games. 
including one this season against NC State. And they try to win it with the way they play normally. Rice pulls the trigger. Can't hit the three. Uh-oh, the men are going after the boards now. Dudley and Moriker tie up. Pacific takes over with a possession error. And I think BC might be thinking, why is our freshman taking the first shot rather than getting the ball down to our experienced guys in the blocks? If not the shot, at least look down there and get it to them once. If they have to kick it out, then you shoot it in rhythm. Well, Rice is now 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 5 from three-point range. Here's Brown putting it on the floor. Moriker against Williams. Left hand, no. Not a good decision there. I know he can make that shot, but I think you have to challenge more. This is Overtime is about challenging people. That's why I didn't like the outside long shot by Rice and a little flip shot by Morica down that end. You're going to win this. you got to win this inside and drive it to the basket and earn it and get to the line. Morica with 30 points and seven rebounds. His career high is 34. There's Hennett looking. Smith unable to get position down low. Nine to shoot. Hennett gives it up. Dudley on a pump. Didn't want to shoot it. Yeah. Rice driving. I think your point is well taken just then, partner. Who wants to shoot the ball? These guys are supposed to be experienced players. Al Skinner's team a little tentative right there. Three seconds remain on the shot clock. And BC retains possession. In it, looking to get it in cleanly. He does outside. Smith, a three. And it rims out. Dudley pokes it outside. Well, they got numbers here. There's Webb running. Pull up on the way. Count it. That's a three. Once again, usually not your first choice, but he recognized quickly, Webb did, that it was Craig Smith, the big guy. And as a small guy's mindset is coming down the floor, it's either, A, I'm going to go by you, but if you don't come out and recognize me, I'm quick enough, even though I'm smaller, to get my shot off from long range. Webb has really picked up his scoring over the last month. Was it a three-pointer? Good question. This is what the officials will go look at. They will go look and see that that right foot, to my eye, was on the line. Let's take a look at the low angle. Sometimes it's difficult to see it. Oh. Wow. The first one looked like he came to the line. The second one looked like he didn't. That's why we're sitting over here and the fans voice in their opinion. Take another take look. A look. I'm getting old, Diane. Help me with the eyes. Now, what well, doesn't that? That's uh, look, tight, but I, I can't say definitively. Yeah, right. You've got shadows. You've got the toe. And this angle here, albeit it's a great look from a camera perspective, the low angle to me makes it even more difficult to see where the line and the toe are. Now that's what the officials are dealing with right now <laughs> on the other side. Well, not that it's really that important. No. Huh? <laughs> Mike Webb nailing one from what we believe is long range. <laughs> that is safe to say. It's long. It's close. Uh, I'm not so sure that's conclusive either. Well, it's great three shots, but boy, the difficulty. I got that's, it as a three, Jimmy. Okay. That's that's what I would go with. On that first one, my first reaction was that right foot slid close to the line. From keeping consistent, I would go that that was a two, but boy. You know, just a quick sidebar, too. You know, people in sports, they look at the officiating, they, they comment, because somebody's not going to like this call. Nope. But these officials in, in sports now are playing, these games are being played so quickly, and it's only a matter of the inches that make the difference of these calls that it's amazing how quickly they can come to an agreement, but how, how often they do get the calls right. Jimmy, on another topic, what does this stoppage do for these players? You've just been battling for 40 minutes. You finally get into overtime, everything on the line, and now we've got a three, three-and-a-half-minute stoppage right now. I think two things come into play right there. Number one is we take another look at it there. Hard for me to really be definitive as to whether it's on the line or not. Number two, I think the fact of, regardless of whether it's a two or three, Pacific is now waiting this thing out with a little bit of lead, so mentally it's going to help them. If they get the extra point, it'll give them a real big lift, and it is a three. So they get a bigger lift out of this. They get a little bit more momentum. And, and the slowdown for BC works on them a little mental, mentally on a negative sense. Mike Sanzer just put his arms in the air, indicating a three-pointer. Pacific 
68-65 lead. We come up on three minutes to go in OT. Brought back memories of Patrick Sparks, yeah. Kentucky. <laughs> that was a great game, too. And that one counted for three. Rice. Yeah. Well, you see the big fake right there. Nice decision, but not a good one there. Wow. Dudley oh. trying to get it back. Sparza again. Tip ball. Webb, another. He's got it. Oh. <sighs> oh, baby, what an action play by Esparza down one end to keep a mistake alive. And Webb is just out of sight shooting the basketball from long range. 71-65 Pacific. Back-to-back -back trays, Mike Webb. And this building has responded. extended control. It kills tough weeds fast. It also prevents. Just spray wherever you don't want weeds, and you won't get weeds for up to one, two, three full months. Roundup extended control. Weeds have met their match. A senior from Lancaster, California, Mike Webb with back-to-back -back three pointers to give Pacific a 71-65 lead on Boston College, 2.46 to play in overtime. The Eagles last year, a second round loss to Wisconsin, Milwaukee, a number 12 seed. This year facing a 13 seed. BC was not happy with their placement, a number four seed here in Utah. And I, if you're an experienced BC team, what do you do? You come out and go to your strengths, and that's exactly what they just did to Smith. Al Skinner's team should be through these, these battles. We've seen the fact that they've won an overtime game, so it's nothing new to them. Now's the time to test some adversity, but go to your strength. The senior at the line. Free throw shooting has been a problem. 66% this season. They need them both. Short. He is now two of six from the line. 22 points, 11 rebounds for Smith. One of the best players in Boston College basketball history. They need one right here just to get a little positive thought process going. And he hits. It allows them to come up a little bit more full court right now. It's a five-point game. Pressure. Gray needs help. We got a hurry right now. Nice job by Hinnett again. He stepped out of bounds, I believe, before the timeout. He did. Yep. Out along the sideline, and Pacific turns it over. The pressure pays off for BC. Hinnett, second play right there. Stepping across, forced that out of bounds. Watch the step across, and now Webb's looking for a timeout, but he real doesn't realize that his left foot slides against the out of bounds on the sideline. Huge turnover with 2.17 to go in overtime. Plenty of time for Boston College, though, to execute, but they have to get into a little quicker rhythm. Hinnett takes matters into his own hands with a three. Add it back in, now the shift. Now they have the defensively, and keep an eye on Williams, 51. He's long, he's quick, he's forcing lateral passes in the backcourt. BC's first field goal since the 2-11 mark of regulation. Under two minutes to go in overtime. Pacific up by two. Here's Gray on the drive. Floater. No good. Williams couldn't grab it. Out of bounds, and Pacific will hold on to it. Uh, a tough shot along the baseline. Maybe not a great shot either in terms of where you are situationally in this game. 1.43 remaining. Pacific up by two. Esparza, way outside, deflected. Rice couldn't grab it. 
Now we've seen Pacific play well when it was a little scattered with web jump shots, getting it going a little quicker. Now in the half court sets, they have to be patient, but really have to attack and try to make something happen. You see outside right there, Gray like saying, come on guys, get into something. 15 on the shot clock. Here's Gray. Down to a minute, 18 left in overtime. 10 to shoot. Watch by Hinnett. Yeah, I'll be surprised if he lets him go right by him again. Gray lets it fly. Count it! If, All three! If you remember in the first half, the end of the first half was the same type of play. Hinnett allowed him to go by him, and he ended up with a foul. He didn't want to let him go by him. Great decision by Gray to pull up. Back to a five-point lead for the Tigers. Under a minute to go. Dudley answers with a tray. <laughs> These guys are stepping up here early on. 74-72 Pacific. 47 seconds left in overtime. Esparza handles the pressure. A 16-second differential, so BC has the luxury right now. Playing with a sense of urgency defensively, but do not need the foul. And right now, I'm not a big fan of waiting this thing down to seven seconds or so, and that looks like what they're going to do. Esparza holds nine to shoot. Pacific up by two. Esparza makes his move. Outside White. Short. 18 seconds left. BC with a chance to tie or take the lead. Freshman running the point. Al Skinner on to talk things over. Good call by Al Skinner to talk things over. Down two with 12 and change left. What a battle this has been. Two-point game in Salt Lake. Dad, it's the Army Reserve. It's the Army. No. I can still go to college. It's the Army. I'm going to be part of something that's important. And it's the Reserve. So they'll train me around here until they need me. Good training. It's the Army. your manual brush clean introducing crest spin brush pro clean it cleans up to 70 percent more plaque in hard to reach places getting what an ordinary manual brush can leave behind crest spin brush pro clean want to get away now you can with southwest airlines internet specials fly to 61 destinations for just 49 to 159 dollars A terrific start in Salt Lake City and a better finish for Pacific coming down the stretch. As Morica hits one shot from long range, then they come back to back with Webb going deep, gray deep again. This team is playing with poise and confidence down the stretch. And I'll tell you, it's been fun, it's been fast. And I thought there were a couple of times, especially about the 10 minute mark in regulation, as you touched on, it looked like Pacific was almost ready to go down. BC was trying to knock them out and they hung around and forced this thing into overtime and BC has to go right at this basket quickly right now. Here we go, one possession game, 12 seconds left in overtime. BC trails by two. Hinnick, six seconds left. Smith gets it, Smith turns, Smith. Foul call with 4.3 remaining. You know, it's interesting to me, not a bad foul because his free throw shooting hasn't been great. So you know what, the thought process, okay, if, if they're going to earn it, let them get to the line with Craig Smith, who has been struggling from the line. He is three of seven from the strike here today. Biggest free throws of his four-year career. Down by a deuce. Smith on target. <laughs> Now, I know it's a simple thing, but everybody on the line, pa Bob Thomas is yelling down to his team, lock out. You heard it in the CYO leagues when you were five, six, fifth grade, sixth grade. Get the rebound. BC trails by one for the tie. Smith. He oh. drains it. Boy, is that ever clutch for a senior to step up. Three seconds left. Gray with a chance to win it underneath. Time expires. Oh. White ever get open down there. We are going to a second overtime in Salt Lake. <laughs> I think he came from the bleachers. 74-74. <laughs> Double overtime. First round action.
introducing Papa's new Perfect Pan Meats Pizza. Yeah! We got it! Our golden pan crust, yeah. deep and square, piled with pepperoni, sausage, ham, and bacon. With a zesty new Robusto sauce, try a large Perfect Pan Meats Pizza for just $12.99. $12.99. Call now or order at PapaJohns.com and we'll deliver. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now a better pan. Papa John's. Yeah! We got it! Sometimes just getting to retirement seems impossible. That's where we come in. As the nation's 401k leader, the principal offers many simple ways to plan for retirement, making it easier for you to get where you're going. The Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. A reminder, this is the first game of the day. Double overtime with BC and Pacific all tied up at 74 and 74. You're on, you're on your own. You have the last three by yourself. Well, coming up, vote for the final four here on CBS. Alabama and Marquette in San Diego, the Oakland Regional. They'll finally get that one started. Winthrop, Tennessee, South Alabama, Florida, and Montana against Nevada here in Salt Lake City. I call me sentimental, Lion, but you know what? Craig Smith at the free throw line with his career, he has to make those two shots. If you're a basketball fan in general, you don't want to see a career end with a guy missing one out of two and costing his team a game. And guess what? It's overtime again. BC controls it. Rice oh. up top. Look out. On the alley-oop feed to Sean Williams. Where did that come from? Al Skinner is where that came from. Nice call from the coaching staff. If we get the ball, let's go right to the tin with it. Nice finish. BC leads by two. Gray defended by Rice. There's Moriker. He has poured in 30. Long three. And it's rebounded by Smith. That's a shot he can hit, and not a bad shot with your first possession because it was a clean look. 76-74 Eagles. Just about a minute gone by in overtime. Hit it for Rice. Working the perimeter. The cut. Dudley. And tipped home. Was it on the cylinder? It yeah, was. It looked like it was. Looked like Williams, who's very active, both defensively and the offensive class, doesn't like the call. Now keep in mind, though, there's an imaginary cylinder that goes above the rim. Hmm. So if the ball is even above the rim and it's on that imaginary cylinder, the basket still will not count. So basket is waved off. BC's lead is two. Gray is going to take the three. And rebounded by Webb. Good kick out by Webb also. Moriker, open look. Short. And a timeout taken as Hinnett was able to control it along the baseline. 76-74, Boston College has possession when we come back. In leadership, no word is more important than trust. You can trust Chevy, the brand more Americans choose. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Like Silverado half-ton crew cab with more interior room than Ford F-150 Super Crew. Get a 2006 Chevy Silverado half-ton crew cab LS two-wheel drive starting at $22,990 after cash back. Or get it for less during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. See your local Chevy dealer. Sometimes just getting to retirement seems impossible. That's where we come in. As the nation's 401k leader, the principal offers many simple ways to plan for retirement, making it easier for you to get where you're going. The principal financial group will give you an edge. BC up by two. Here was the call made underneath on the offensive goaltender. Now, keep in mind, I the imaginary cylinder goes straight up right now. I know, and everybody else does, and you do, that the ball is not going to go in. It's going to go off. But when does he touch it? When the imaginary cylinder comes into play, just because the ball is going to miss, you can't assume that it's going to miss. I think the officials got that one correctly. Now, BC has got the two-point lead and the ball with 3.38 remaining in double overtime. 
The extended minutes for Tyrese Rice, the freshman. They break the trap. And now settle into a half-court set. Hinn it. Dudley. 16 to shoot. Spread it around. Rice, that's a three. He hits. Hey, a little cautious in that first overtime, but now all of a sudden stepping up. The confidence there. Craig Smith was open, too, on the blocks. He could have given that basketball up. First field goal of the day for the freshman from Richmond, Virginia. Boston College leads at 79-74. We approach three minutes to go in the second overtime. That just highlights what Al Skinner said about Rice in terms of the confidence. There and he a is. steal. Here's Rice dishing. Hit an extra feed. Oh, oh, big finish for Williams. And a lot of time left, but that one may be a finisher for Pacific. We'll see how they rebound right now. Coming down the floor, a huge possession for them to get a good look. Down to 249 remaining in double OT. And another steal. It is falling apart for Pacific. They can pull this one out. Nice decision right there with the lead. Play the clock a little bit right now. Don't go into a stall, but play it smart. Nice little run over the last five minutes for BC. Two and a half to go. Rice calls out a play. There's Smith hit the two clutch free throws to ensure a second overtime for Boston College. Doesn't take the shot, six to shoot. Shot clock winding down. Now Smith, little bump, spin, no good. Moriker clears it. We get off for something quick here once again. Not a panic shot. Still plenty of time. Two minutes to go in double overtime. Webb's had the hot hand. And the rebound to Williams of BC. Right, Williams goes up a little higher than most people, doesn't he? <laughs> At six foot <laughs> ten, and he's got the hops. He's got some springs. And a foul called on Gray. Well, terrific passing, too. Defensively, they set it up. First one right here. Rice gives it up unselfishly. Hit it, and now the big-time finish. Wow. Perfectly done. Look at him. He's come right down the middle of the gut right there and finish it off. Yeah, that's getting upstairs. Tyrese Rice at the free throw line. Double bonus. And Rice makes the free throw. Second one coming. BC 82, Pacific 74. Both teams had chances to put an end to this one and avoid overtime or a double overtime. Neither team could cash in. And two out of two for little Tyrese Rice. And I like the fact that Al Skinner stays with the 1-2-2 because it's enough to not allow Pacific to get into any kind of rhythm. Webb's three. No. Comes up with a rebound and doesn't get the roll. Tiffin goes for White. 83-76. Down to a minute 24 left. Double overtime. The help. Esparza double. Rice works through it. And Dudley will back it out. Good decision so far by BC. Recognizing that you know Pacific is going to come at you with the double teams. You're going to, you're going to put the pressure on you. And Rice running the show pretty nicely. 13 to shoot. More important to take the clock down than it is to get a good shot on this one possession. Under a minute to go now and double overtime. Dudley pump fake fading away. Count it. And that's a dagger. Foul called, and Dudley's going to the free throw line. Boston College can taste it. And the beauty of this is if you're Al Skinner, is that you've had a bunch of guys chipping in down the stretch into the first and now into the second overtime. So collectively, BC really showing some stamina and guts. Esparza has fouled out. Stephon Johnson, the freshman, comes in. Ten rebounds for Esparza to go along with those three points. And emotional as he leaves the floor. Jared Dudley the line for Boston College. Shooting one. Dudley can bring the BC lead to ten with 53.9 left on the clock. It's good. 
And Dudley, big numbers for him. 23 points, five assists. Final 45 seconds. Gray to the rim, rejected by Williams. And you do not, emphasize not, bring it in there weakly against Williams with the way he can block shots. And that's your exclamation point here in the second overtime. Foul called with 29.3. Our Chevrolet players of the game, Christian Moriker, 30 points for Pacific. Craig Smith, 25 points, 13 rebounds, and a couple of big free throws in recognition of their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best, Chevy, and American Revolution. Rice of the free throw line. Just keeps making plays for BC. <laughs> and for Craig Smith, the career was not going to end on this day. Pressure free throws. And it's a nice combination. You have a freshman who's very confident, and at the same time, you have experienced guys around him so they can temper the flow of the game with him and try to keep him under control, but at the same time, let him use his abilities. Long jump shot doesn't go for Webb. Hinnant's got the loose ball the last 20 seconds. They have outscored Pacific 14 to 2 here in the second overtime. A terrific effort by Pacific. We don't get to talk about them another game, but this is some effort that they put on the floor this afternoon. Boston College survives, but were they ever tested? It's a two overtimes. BC wins it 88 to 76 over Pacific.